Another way I 
Ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, good evening, good afternoon. In today's video, well, again, it's being sponsored by Red Tag, the clothing line. The links will be dropping in the chat. You buy some, tell the next gen century, it's 20 century, and you receive a, a decent discount. But getting right into today's show, I have a, a one, you know, I'm good for these one on ones. I haven't spoke to this brother, and, um, it's been a minute. I haven't spoke to crap in um, gosh, yeah, uh, a few months, literally, like a few months. Um, uh, you know, sometimes I get wrapped up in uh, so much of what I do, you know, just different things, shows and what's going on in the background, trying to get myself. I didn't even know he had took a, 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 a hiatus. You know, crap dropped about five, six videos a day, you know what I mean? Uh, but I didn't even know he did. He, you know, took a, you know, a break away from gaming. Um but, you know, I reached out to him. I said, you put a video up, up you know what I mean? I said, let's get together, let's talk. Uh, see what's going on with you. you know, a lot, lot can change, man, in, in a few months, man. I made mean, crap. Let me, let, let me hop in here. Actually, let me hop in here right now with him. Uh, for those who know the story, the history, you know what I mean? Let me actually let me hop in here with him right now. He's waiting for me. Crap, crap. You there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. what's up? Yeah, man, I'm sounding like a black dude, All right? But yeah, but like I said, I haven't <laughs> spoken to crap in, in a minute. Um, just to know the history, I found this guy reviewing Uno cards or some shit. I said, you know what? Yeah, it may be something about this guy. <laughs> I mean, come on, yeah. this, this podcast, man. Crap was so fucking crystal clean. Crap was like the Mormons <laughs> that was in the, be in the hood with the, with the backpack, knocking door to door, selling the Bibles, man. Uh, but what's going on? With I, I was just having fun, man. I was having fun with that, you know, just kind of. Uh doing like little silly stuff and then i did that one video man where i was like i'm gonna get an xbox and then all of a sudden oh, people that, were that, like, that was you know that that was <clears> it. <throat> yo hey crap yeah. you know what's crazy right um i don't know if you found me first or I, you i found you How I, you? you found me but i had seen some videos that you did because okay. you were like the only pro xbox youtuber that i hey, saw yo, and real. i was just like like, I didn't realize that there was going to be that much backlash just saying, hey, you know, I'm going to get an hey, Xbox. Crap, you know, that shit was real like... spooky. I was the only black Christian, the all white, powerful Christian yeah. church, bro. I was out of that yeah, motherfucker. Man. You know what I mean? But yeah, it, it, was, it was fun, though, man. And then we were doing, like, the, the BGST stuff. And that was back when, like, there weren't a bunch of podcasts, yeah. you know. And then, uh, yeah, you know, none. so... Crap, yeah, there were none, and yeah. and we did that, and then everybody else kind of hopped in on that and started, yeah. uh, you know, hey, let's do let's do a podcast, let's do it now. You know, it's like it's, it's over saturation <laughs> of them, right? You know what's crazy? It is crap? like it, I, I yeah. tell people this all the time, right? Uh, and, and 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 this like you know, I just mean I, I stumbled upon this community. And I say this: people think that the thing to do is to get on and get you a podcast, and and not knowing. I tell people all the time: up to doing a podcast is one of the hardest things you can do. In, in yeah. my opinion, you got four or five, six different personalities, and then if the show, and, and then and, and just to have someone to hey commit to the show, right? And then if the show takes off, then motherfuckers, you know, then you got the egos, and you got to talk to this one manager and this, that, and the other. Then you know, and then just to to stay to the core, and yeah, and, not, yeah. and, and, and then people grow, things happen. But it, to me, I'm not gonna lie. Even now, even though I enjoy what I do, I always said. Um, that I, if it, when, if it didn't become fun to me more, I wouldn't do it. I would rather just do a show. And, you know, you, you know me personally behind me. That's just, like, when yeah. they see on screen, that's me behind the screen. I'm always bugging the fuck out, cracking jokes no matter what, right? Yeah. Uh, but before, you know, it was innocent before the money, before the AdSense. We were just doing it just to do it and just to, for the love of gaming. You know, yeah. I, I need to go back because, I, I, you know what, I then so disorganized. I didn't put them in a playlist. And so every so now and then, I will come across one, um, and I, I get it and I save it. And the, even the way that we was doing through Skype, like it was just so my God, horrible. But it, yeah, it, I mean, it, <laughs> it was, it was, it was what it was. Though it was fun. You got you five. It was five of us, whatever Xbox fans, and we didn't understand. You know, like we was like the one percent. What, what, what the fuck was wrong with y'all? This Xbox hit. You know what I mean? That like, you know, it was just crazy. Like you know what I mean? Like, it, it is, man. It, it is, and and the funny thing is, even looking back, it's like I always felt like Xbox didn't really need to be defended, even though we did anyway. But it was yeah. just like <clears throat> it was like the games are super important, and everybody got caught up with resolution, and you I know, and then crap. I think feeling of old reparations, man. We went out there, bitch, took slacking. 
We took a yeah, I mean, beating. look, we we took we took a beating, and then yeah. it was like when you know you did before me. You look around and you're like, damn, man, we don't have any games for. It was like I bought like when I bought the <laughs> Xbox One X, and then here it is like there's going to be another Xbox at the end of this year. That'll be three years that the Xbox One X has been out, and then you look at the games that Microsoft has produced that take full advantage of that, that are exclusive or console exclusive, and it's like a Gears game and a Forza game in three years, and of course they'll have Halo, but that's obviously yeah. meant to really go for the next-gen console. I'm sure it'll look fine on the X or whatever, but yeah. that's also running on the base launch Xbox One. Yeah. So, um, you know, it's like literally in three years, you get like two games that really take advantage of it, and I, that kind of pissed me off. Yeah, they went back and retrofit a bunch of games that everybody already beat, you know, to, to be 4K or enhanced or whatever. But to me, it was kind of a slap in the face. And then, you know, you, you just start looking around like their last AAA that they actually announced was new AAA that they announced was 2015. Yeah. That's crazy. I know they're going to have good games. I know they'll have good fine games next gen, right? Like, they'll, they'll announce the Fable. Apparently, they showed off something like that uh, today at the AM. Hello. Hello. Like, I, like we said, they uh, Forza Horizon 4 with the Seasons. I knew those seasons would be in the next Fable, and damn if they didn't show that off today uh, at the AMD thing. Um, oh, they show some stuff today. Yeah, that like there's no video of it, but there's uh, you know, I guess people were there and they they uh, playground second team showed off uh, like some forests and and the different seasons and and lights and all this kind of stuff. So you know they're gonna probably announce a Fable, which hey, that's good. I'm sure the initiative is working on something good. I'm not really a fan of Hellblade, so that being a sequel doesn't really appeal to me, and more Forza Gears and Halo. One of the things that was most surprising to me as I was catching up to the news was, uh, maybe not surprising to me, but I predicted that Rod Ferguson would leave the Coalition within a year after mm -hmm. what I said was disappointing Gears 5 numbers, mm -hmm. right? And, and disappointing reception. We heard how they put all these different changes into Gears 5 and all this other stuff, and it scored exactly the same as the last one. Uh -huh. And uh, it dropped out of the top 20 most played games within, like, 60 days. And next thing you know, Rod Ferguson's gone. Uh, it wouldn't even surprise yeah. me uh -huh. if they started working on a new IP instead okay. of the next Gears, you know, which I'm fine with, by the way. Here's I'm, I'm my fine thing. With. I, I think, no, I think I know. Um, you know, I... You know, I uh, when you know with Gears Four, I got I don't know how much play time I have in that. You know, well I played that shit for I probably had a month, over a month logged into that game. Yeah. And, and, and leading into Gears Five, um, they did add a, uh, add a lot of changes. Here's the, it's a gear, I, I look like this Gears and Halo, right? Uh, Microsoft has three staple IPs. They have Forza, Gears, and Halo, right? Now Fable's yeah. going to come back, but. Those Thankfully, are man, I'm actually looking forward to, to seeing what they do with that. You know, Fable, <laughs> yeah. not, not bless you, not having a, a RPG exclusive really hampered them this generation. You know, it's Look, like check it out. They got three staple IPs. So only one that kind of rose in prestige was um, the Forza franchise. Yeah, Horizon uh, in particular. I think Motorsport took a step back. But with this Forza, uh, actually, whatever, whatever the case, yeah, but this, yeah. this Forza. But here's me. Here's the thing, right? You had at one time, right? And it, this is me just talking to somebody from over there, and I and just me just thinking. I've always said you don't need uh, gears and a halo. You need about one a one a generation and handle it like they do with Destiny. With the you not know, Destiny roll out those big expansion packs like the, the Fall yeah. of the Winter Soldier, we launched like a whole new game. This is what happened, and where Halo was the premier shooter on consoles, right? But you get that every three years, three and a half years or whatever, right? Call of Duty came out on the scene, and they got that every year. You know what I mean? So how they became in a point that, like, you know, I was talking to somebody over there. How could we compete with that? I mean, we have our core, we have our base, and, and things are growing, and things are changing. You know what I mean? You have yeah. Call of Duty coming out every year in your face, bam, 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 and here we showing up to the party three hours late just before the lights come off. You know what I mean? With our new. Halo, whatever the case. So they found themselves in a very particular play, peculiar place. Even with Gears 5, what I didn't like, and I'm a huge Gears fan, it's my favorite. Probably, you know, I haven't played Fable in a while, but yeah. they went on their way to take out war, right? Not to be pity. Then he said, yeah, you know what? Uh, we're going to take smoking out of, out of the game because no one would ever would have knew if you took smoking out of the game, like, you know, whatever. Yeah. And then um, the kills, the elimination, takeaway kills, give you eliminations, and to appeal more to the casuals, if we both shoot them, we both get counted as eliminates. Like, you know what I mean? You did, did assist with count as your, you know, as also. Awesome. I didn't like that at all. Let my yeah. kills be my kills. If you get an assist, fine. 
I didn't like that. Like little things like not, this. Not only that, dude, but they had more time for this game, and the game was like for me and a lot of people didn't work at launch. You know, like you didn't get progress. I couldn't progress my game. Like the bot jackpot wouldn't go to where he needed to go to to help oh, progress the game. Yeah, it was. <clears throat> yeah, it was it, you know, it was like yeah. this is their big franchise, and supposedly this is Microsoft's new direction with putting money and time and effort into their games unlike before and then this game scores exactly the same as the last one and has way more issues than the last one in fact people were going back to gears 4 because they didn't like the gears 5 stuff you know it's like uh you know that that should be a, a clear indication that you're kind of doing things wrong they really made it more as a games as a service like very difficult to to get anything to buy anything you had to play a ton of games or spend a bunch of money and that's really the wrong way to go about it microsoft this huge corporation their first party game should not be littered with you know pay to win and and and, and all these microtransactions it's absolutely ridiculous uh you know you when you look at sony and you look at nintendo they're not charging you nickel and diming you for a kratos axe you know, or, or, you know what I'm saying? Like, they're, they're not doing that. Uh, so it's really a shame that Microsoft, everything that they do it seems to be games as a service lately, right? Like this grounded game. That's a games as a service. Uh, uh, um, uh, yeah, I mean. Let, look, me, let me say it for you, crap. You can say, Honey, I shrunk the niggas. Hold up. Let yeah, me pay the bills, yeah. right, bills right quick. My man Zemi says, Seasons, oh no, Fable is a game of service. Um, I, 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 like I said, I, I just. I, I hope was, not. Um, but, okay, here's the, uh, well, now here's the thing. Um, gaming right now is in a very peculiar place, right? I know some people who don't have Game Pass or don't have, uh, uh well, I guess PS Now came out first, right? PS Now? Yeah. And, uh... They, they were streaming with PS Now first. Yeah, now you can yeah, download yeah. the game. Yeah. So, well, you even know, with so streaming, cool. yeah, yeah, I mean, it was kind of frowned upon. Like, uh, you know, even, like, I got to stand in the queue and this, that, and the other, right? And people, I'm going to be honest, this will be fair. I'm going to call things down the middle. Uh, Game Pass, you know, I guess got a lot of shit because of the type of quality of games that Microsoft were releasing. The Crackdowns, the Sea of Thieves, the State of the Cakes 2s. But then they got, you know what I mean? And they, but they, they also grabbed in a lot of third party stuff. Devil May Cry, Yakuza, Dragon Ball. It's not, it's not what it once, you know, the same Game Pass when it was. It's grown. Yeah. It, it's grown. Yeah, I mean, they just put Kingdom Hearts 3 in there, the Yakuza yeah. game. You know, I've, I mean, never it's played, like, I've never played Kingdom Hearts a day in my life, but you know what? Neither I, have I. I, I, uh, I down, I'm downloading three right now, though. Yakuza just that, that might zero. be. Zero. Yeah, I'm downloading both of those. Those are the first time I've used Game Pass since I've had it. Um, I got back. I was like, you know what? I'm going to check these games out. Uh, I've been, you know, I have Game Pass till 2022. I paid a buck for it. Uh, you know, how, did, they, how, did, how did that work for you? Because I didn't get okay, so, one buck, so, and that was so, it. Yeah, so so what they did was, this was uh, last year, was if you topped off your Xbox Live Gold first, like I topped mine off to, to cover me till 2022, yeah. and then you upgraded to, to Ultimate Game Pass for a dollar, and then it would it would go on top of, of your gold and, and make that Ultimate Game Pass for the remaining gold. So from 2019 till 2022 for me, and I think Mooch and some other people did the same thing, so literally paid $1.00. And it upgraded it, and it doesn't take any more out of my account or anything like that. Just that one dollar for those three years, and I uh, you know, I, I mean, yeah. listen, my man had a complexion for the right mm -hmm. connection. I they charged me a buck for that because I did it when everybody, oh, this is a buck. I remember D hopped in there. I did it for that buck, and um, I don't know because my live was already because I bought a card, so you know, myself and Best Body be like thirty dollars for the year, and I stack up on them. And I got it for a year. I mean, I got Game Pass, whatever it was for. And after that, it went to charge me $15. $15. Like, I don't yeah. I don't know. Maybe they fixed the loop by the time I got to it, but it didn't, it didn't no longer work for me. Uh, but like I said, this gaming uh, overall, just, uh, I'm going to ask you a question, crap. Yeah. Uh, going into, how you say, uh, the, what is these, well, we're, we're, we're in the eighth, ninth, we're going to the ninth generation now, right? We're gonna, yeah. We're going to the ninth. At the start of the generation, what made you excited I seen the video. They say, "Hey, I wanted to get an Xbox." Um, for the for next generation? No, 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 no. For for this the, generation, two thousand fifteen. It, it was it was. I saw Killer Instinct, and I thought yeah. Dead Rising looked good, and Rise looked like graphically like absolutely amazing. Uh, you know, it was just it, it was it was just stuff that couldn't be done on the Xbox three hundred and sixty, and we yeah. had been stuck with the Xbox three hundred and sixty for, for eight, so long. Eight, nine you nine know, years, yeah. Yeah, and so you know those that that was what really um, 
Im- impressed me the most was just how absolutely amazing the games looked. I didn't really care buy into like all my stuff's been connected to the internet since like the Dreamcast days. So like none of that stuff really bothered me. Um, you know, and now I've gone mostly digital anyway. I'll buy collector's editions physically or whatever. But so I was really on board, and the controller looked good. It looked like a, a solid upgrade. They they were talking about using servers for their for the games, uh, which was a which was something I I definitely wanted. You know, like remember if you guys were played Gears last gen, like the host advantage was lame. You know, I was like that's stupid. And then when you first got to play stuff like like Titanfall, dude, that looked amazing. Your and it was, man. I, I put yeah. I put uh, so many hours into that, you know. Yeah. And um, you know, they showed off Sunset Overdrive, Quantum Break. They literally blew their load for like the generation that first year in 2000. Like it was like they look, look at what they showed off: Quantum Break, Sunset Overdrive. They talked about Halo. They they got the Gears uh, thing. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, the Forzas. We we got all that stuff literally announced that first year. Mm-hmm. Anything that was pretty much worthwhile this generation, and so. Um, you know, that got me excited, man. Killer Instinct, when that came back, which yes, was sir. my favorite my favorite fighting game as a kid, I was like, oh, I'm all in. And then I looked over on the Sony side. I liked what they were doing. I liked the sleekness and the share button and all that stuff. But they only had, like, it was like Knack and Killzone, which I wasn't a big fan of. So I was like, eh, you know, I'll hold off. And I did. And I held off, and I didn't get a PS4 until, you know, something came out that I really wanted for. I think it was, like, Uncharted 4. But I ended up getting it before that. I got Order 1886, which looked great. But it wasn't like the best game or anything. Just like Rise looked great, but it wasn't the best game, um, you know. But it really showcased what you can do with the new hardware versus the previous hardware. And I think that's something that I've always enjoyed. You know, when I went up, when I went from an NES to a Super Nintendo, man, you could tell the big difference there. You know, when I went from an Xbox to a 360, you could tell a difference. When I went from PS2 to PS3, you could tell a difference. And that's what I was really, really more interested in. Is like that was a big leap for me. And, like, I wanted more people on the screen in these larger worlds. And, you know, all these games look so good. And so that's why I kind of upgraded. And, um, you know, and I got to say, I've had a good experience for the most part with with both consoles. But more early on with Xbox, whereas lately it's been more uh, kind of rounded. I just kind of like what Sony's doing. I like like the VR stuff. I like, you know, it's like I know when I if I say something like, oh, I like Concrete Genie, people go, that's hypocritical because you'll slash... You know, you'll smash Xbox for a double A game, but Sony has these triple A's to sit between those double A's. You know, yeah, so it's more of a, a well-rounded thing. You know, they'll have, they'll give me a VR game. They, you know, they got Iron Man coming out. Uh, you know, they have. Uh, you know, I'm playing the Final Fantasy VII demo. Oh, yeah. I've never I, played I, I, that I, game. I, I'm, I'm gonna talk about. Hold on, let me pay this bill right quick. We got some yeah. slander here. Shout out to my brother John Mendoza who just came over from Happy Hour from the bar. He says, "Z, you and crap don't play any games. God damn you! I'm streaming every goddamn night. Don't you tell you talking about." Lies you tell. Listen here, Satan. You don't play the. I don't. <laughs> you don't play the Witcher three. Don't play GTA. I don't like the Grand Theft Auto five. I don't play GTA either. Uh, don't play. No, listen. Well, now I'm starting. To, I, I I'm forty. I don't play Fortnite. I know I don't play Fortnite. If I, I name play a, if, if I name a big game and it don't play it outside of one or two third person action game and a couple of shooters. No, listen. To be fair, uh, I I prefer the Witcher two than I do the Witcher three. Uh, Dude, then, I was the same way. It seems smaller to me, which is more accessible. You know, like, I, Witcher, I crap. it's too much going yeah. on. Like, I would just yeah, exactly, game. exactly. Witcher it's, three, there's so much going on. Yeah. I put I put like fifty hours into it, uh-huh. and I like it. But it was just like I don't know if it was like I had troubles with like the potions and all uh-huh. this kind. Of, I don't know. Uh-huh. It was like uh-huh. it was a little bit too much. Uh-huh. It was a little bit too busy for Listen, me. Just before my, my my street pharmacist prescribed me Adderall, right? No pun intended, right? But look, yeah. it's just too much fucking going on. It's too much. And the world's too good. I need, I know what I need with games like that. I, I don't need, even with the Assassin's Creed. I need a straight point from mission to mission. If I want to go ahead and do a little side quest, fine. I get lost and I'm doing all this <laughs> shit and I'm not progressing the story anymore. Anything, then I get fucking frustrated and I throw them away. You know what I mean? I, I ain't playing this yeah. shit no more. But Grand Theft Auto, I've never, there's no things. Like, it's just too much. It's going to have been really, never been. Yeah, really you know, it's like, I like the uh, the older Assassin's Creed and I love the look of the they two newer linear, ones. It's like Odyssey. It yeah, but it's linear. like, I never even got, I, I couldn't even beat those games. It was like, I thought I beat, um, what was the one, the, not the last one, I think that was Odyssey, but the one before that, yeah. uh, where you were in Egypt. I loved it. I got super far. I thought I was at the end, and then they added more on. I beat the, the first And I was like, three. holy crap. I beat yeah. the first three. One, two, and three, and I think the one with the, uh, when you were with the Indians, or what was that, and they came out, whatever. That was, was three, that was three, yeah. Okay, those are for, I beat that on the Wii U. I beat, I beat the first three. 
but then the the, the brotherhood, the this, the that. Nah. Yeah, see, I, I beat I beat Brotherhood. I beat all those. It wasn't until the two newer ones, which I like. And I, I like the RBG. I like the RBG element to them. I, I yeah. think that's dope way they added to the con. To, I'm sorry to the uh, the combat, the way to, to make the franchise grow. I just yeah. wish it was a, a little bit more linear. You know what I mean? If you know, yeah. a, a direct jump. But I mean, and I, hey, hell, man, I admit I'm weird with the games I play. Man, I play VR, and that's something most people don't do. Uh, you know what I mean? When I, I think some of the last games I played on Xbox, I beat Ghostbusters Remastered on there. Uh, you know, I, I like weird stuff. You know, I, I'm playing. I play. I do play Call of Duty. You know, I, I don't know if that's whatever. And I play Madden. I play the normal stuff, but I yeah, I don't play Grand Theft Auto. Uh, I don't play. Um, you know, some of the stuff that that he mentions. And I guess that I mean that doesn't mean that I don't play games. I just play different games. And I think that you know everybody's kind of different with what they play. And, uh, you know, I got so many different games, and I'm always, um, you know, trying different stuff. So it's like, you know, it's, everybody's different. Um, you know, like, I'm looking forward to Iron Man VR. That's one of my most anticipated titles. But also, The Last of Us 2 looks looks pretty good, you know? And, and uh, Ghost of Tsushima looks great. You know, uh, Doom 3 looks awesome. Yeah, oh, so, yeah. Uh, no, I really got to do... Hold on, let me ask questions one here. Hold on, let me, let me get back to the show. My man, Top Dog, he also just left Happy Dog. Z, you're lying. You didn't beat those games. My achievement list is open. Go check for yourself. I beat Assassin's Creed 1, 2, and 3, and I beat Assassin's Creed 3 on the Wii U. It was one of the games I bought. I did a video about it. Go check. This was one thing about me. I don't care about video games. I don't care about shit I don't like. and cap, don't care about shit I don't play. That's not my claim to fame. I put all my flaws on front screen. But hey, I don't man, like you it. you can't help it. You can't. Yeah, exactly. You if can't I don't like it, I don't play. I don't give a fuck what it is. Yeah. If it don't hold my attention, if I, what I like, I can play. And I will crack. Yeah. You know what I mean? But that's neat. I, crap, I didn't even get into Call of Duty. Believe it or not. You know, I just hate fucking Call of Duty. I, yeah. I can play Call of Duty like Battlefield. I don't I don't learn much shit. But anyway, moving right along. I mean, shout out Modern to Warfare was 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 dope, man. I, I like Modern no, Warfare. This new one, I, I you know what no my problem is with Call of Duty. A I don't this I don't know if the, cause the servers aren't sixty hertz, but like as soon as someone see boom, you're dead. Like on Battlefield, yeah. I can get behind the cover, I can dip down, just pop up and shoot. You can't do that on duty, right? I just yeah. had to learn to adjust. The problem I was having for I would try to play. Call of Duty like Battlefield and it's not the same. Uh, I, I wish Battle EA, uh, you know, crossplay is huge. We can talk about that. I'm loving crossplay, um, but you know they, you know, and, and I don't like the map rotation. They would have you playing the same map three times back to back with Battlefield. You strive for one, and I love what they're doing with the expansions and the DLCs. I don't know if you play Battlefield in a while. I, all I do is TDM. I don't do that. I haven't played Battlefield in forever, but yeah, I, I don't do, do that. I, I don't do that conquest shit. It takes. I ain't got no hour long. I just do straight up TDM. No tanks. Mono mono. You know your team versus mine. The mother maps take like an hour and some chains. But the way they added the um, historical, like the Solomon Islands and the weapons, shit is dope. Uh, my man over your G Rich. Thank you for the five dollars, good brother. So, like again, Xbox fan. I'll go through. Said you, you killer instinct. And this, you know, let you know it is what it is. Us having I say intimate conversations behind the scene. I remember crap. I'm like, yo, bro, this ain't the answer, sway. Like and and yeah, you, and the, the, you said you, you made up a key point. You said Sony uh they they said they get on you for liking what not not dreams. What, what you named some game. Uh, uh Concrete Genie, which Concrete. I thought was fun, you know. Well, not a problem. And look, look here's the thing. Yeah. I don't mind games like that, right? Well whether yeah. it's the state of the keys or whatever, but that's all that we gotten. From Microsoft. Yeah. And that's how I used to be saying, man, you guys jumped the shit out of me, bro. You guys beat my legs on BGST. I'm like, this be this be realistic here. The last AAA game Microsoft released outside of Gears, Force, and Halo, again, was Quantum Break in 2016. Hear me out, yeah. right? What made the original Xbox or the 360 so dope is that they went out and did great second and third party deals, right? So in between, you're yeah. getting your Halo or this, you got a Ninja Gaiden, right? Or you even got a Gears before Microsoft owned that. Or you got a Fable before they owned that. You know what I mean? Or you got a Dead or Alive. Or you got oh, we Mass got Mass Effect. Effect. We got Bioshock for a two, year. You, you know, Too Human or, or Oblivion. You got all these great second and third party deals uh, that Microsoft was doing in between their own franchises, right? They, you know, their big one was Halo. Then, then before it became Forza, it was Project Gotham. Then they owned Fable, right? So they had all these unique games and unique, you know, not everything, not saying everything has to be triple A or big budget, but, yeah. but that's all that we got. And I'm, I'm being honest with you. I'm not in the business of making excuses for trillion dollar companies. I didn't heard that, you know, because I, mean, I mean, obviously I know some people that know somebody, Phil had to convince them to dollar. That's, that's the one of the most lamest goddamn, you, you got to Well, did you that. see, did you see Mikey Barra actually said that that wasn't true, that there's exactly right. as much support right. now 
as there was back then. It was hey, just, crap. you know. When yeah. I said that then, you know, I'm, I'm, the, I'm the black man. I'm Noah. I'm out there building an the ark and telling the motherfuckers. This basic yeah. business. One of, I got to convince, and Microsoft was good at money. They own so much shit around gaming. And Phil had to go to him on building, bending knees with a rose in his mouth. Please, not dollar stand in gaming. That was the big, big the lowest crock of shit in the world. They just yeah. spent two billion dollars on Minecraft, right? Now, for whatever reason, Microsoft just, just, just decided since 2016, because there was a lot of projects canceled, to stop investing in uh, 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 exclusive content. But not even so much that, right? What And when I say that Sony, remember I was telling you that I would say this thing that Microsoft just wanted to exist. They don't care about winning. Uh, they want to have yeah. their name on the trophy and hence, as long as they have their hands in everybody's pockets, right? Yeah. So they would do these deals, right? And I mean, I mean fucking Phil was well, not healthy for gamer for to keep this off box. Well, Sony was doing these third party deals with Destiny and having exclusive content. They was out that motherfucker out. Now, mind you, at the start of a generation, bro, Sony can barely keep the lights on. You remember we should be teasing these motherfuckers. Yeah. Right? Like how in the fuck does I was at bro? I asked Ran. I asked somebody. Hey, how the fuck do we get here? Well, I, I was getting, it was Terry Myers shit, man. Get the fuck out of here. I want to yeah. hear about that Terry Myers and shit there. You know what I mean? I mean, look, we, we, had, like, we used to make excuses. Me too. I like make excuses. Like, Terry Myers, you know, they didn't have the budget. And then you look back how stupid that sounds now. No. Like, when you when you get that epiphany, and it's not like, because I still like Xbox, man. I, I you know, I've got like eight, 900 games on my Xbox. Like, I like Xbox, but it's true man they really kind of just screwed people over this generation and a lot of people are just like super forgiving with that i'm more of like i'm gonna wait and see if they can consistently release you know some great games and great content um you know next generation then great but if they can't then you know if all they're gonna do is games as a service and you know that kind of stuff then you know it's, it's easy to kind of skip out of that uh you know and 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 for me personally i think that the next xbox i think it's a 600 hundred dollar box you know, and I just bought the five hundred dollar box three years, and hey, not crap, even. You still you know, Archie Bunker? I don't give a fuck. I'm there. I'm day one. You know what I mean? I'm like, I, I want both. Yeah, I, mean, I, I, I can't. I can't afford both, and I would rather go PlayStation oh, Five. Well, I can for, get in. Get in where you. I'm yeah. not. I'm not negating. Get in where you yeah. fit in. You know what I mean? Uh, Unless they, they got some great deals on trade-ins somewhere. They probably you know, will. They, but I yeah. probably will. But as soon as they go announce them from up a pre-order, what I do is I go drop 50 or 100 bucks on either one of them, and then I, I would just pay them off as you know. Um, you know, as the time go on, you know what I mean? So by the time they yeah. come out, I don't know anything, you know what I mean? So, but, like... I'm interested to see what they do with this Halo. Um, I'm hoping they don't turn it into, like, a Destiny-type game-as-a-service type thing, you know, where you do dailies and all this kind of stuff, because, you know, Phil's a big Destiny fan, and they're saying that they're going to have all these microtransactions in Halo, and that just, I don't, you know, that's not my thing, you know? I, I just... Uh, but they, I well, just, here's the thing, uh, to be fair, crap. And how is that damn game going to run on the launch Xbox One, and be anything special on the Xbox Series X. Like, you know, if you, if you even look at Master Chief Collection, look at Halo Reach. That game had problems and got delayed because they had problems getting it to run on the Xbox One launch, right? So why, why, why are they still, like, you know, using this thing? I just, I don't, I don't understand it. Like, I get it, they want to keep the S around or the X. Or to me, it makes sense to have the X around, right? I would, I would, yeah, I would, I would, sl I would kind of, like slow down the production of exclusives or content that goes on the S, you know, well, just they like said, they did with they the said, 360. They said, well, they said, well for, you know, you've been under the loop, right? They said for the first two years, um, uh, now this is what they're saying for the first two years, they won't have any first party exclusive. Um, like yeah. so, they show Hellblade, and um, I didn't care for the first Hellblade either. I hope I didn't know. either. It's like uh, looking puzzles and stuff. Yeah, it looks good. Yeah, it looked great. It did, but it, it just it, you know it wasn't really. They need, they need more action. They have, they yeah. add some more fighting in there. I don't mind the puzzles like they have in God of War. I'm cool with that. But they need more fucking action. Hopefully with a bigger budget. And they also showed up um a more some type of horror game. You know what I mean? Whatever the case may be, I'm cool. But here's the thing. Even like I said with Halo, and they're in a peculiar place, right? They have to crap. I mean, I know I'm not a big Halo guy, but I can be subjective or objective. They have to find a way at a satisfying their core and reaching out to a broader demographic than us. Yeah, uh, you know what I mean. And because again, gaming has changed so much. And here's what I, I spoke to somebody over there, and I'm not gonna say we talk about behind the scenes, people lose to. Well, as far as Halo, and here's a good thing that you can do. The way that like I say that, I, and, and you remember this, this is crazy. It's arguably said that, that Bungie, I'm sorry, not Bungie, I'm sorry, that Destiny was one of the biggest games of this generation, right? 
Yeah. Fact, you know what I mean? That was in house. You know what I mean? And they let that go. You know what I mean? Yeah, they uh, did. They, and, and, and and like I said, Microsoft is and shout out to David Jaffe. Um, who also we know had in, intimate conversations. Just picking his brain is learning. I learned so much from him. You know what I mean? He says it doesn't matter about how many studios Microsoft buys. Microsoft does a horrible job at management. Their management skills are horrible. I give you an example. Crackdown three should have never released. You know what I mean? Uh, the, the Sea of Thieves should never came out in that stage. Basically, was debated with the crack and is lacking. He said you won't see little things like that. I'm not saying Sony don't have bad games, but they're yeah. big budget games. He didn't say even for example, it was in Gears Five, and I love Gears Five, right? He said at one time it was one NPC talking this way, and one was they said just the little things and how Sony pays attention to detail. Let me pay this bill right quick. My man here, Mega Dale, with the slander, and I love it. He says here, uh, where are you? He says here, um, uh, OVO Rich, thank you for the five dollars. Mega Devo, the Xbox Kings in here. Xbox is trash forever. Xbox is dog shit. You're right. Um, <laughs> um, you know, man, so they you know pay attention to detail, right? So Microsoft does a horrible job. It is because, at, like I said, man, when, if I was playing God of War and Uncharted Four and I couldn't progress my game past a level, like that'd be ridiculous, right? Yeah. Like that. That's the thing. That's why I say, okay, they picked up some studios. Great. But did they pick up any real great studios like on the level that Sony? Like Sony picked up what they they paid all that money Insomniac. for uh, Insomniac. yeah for Insomniac right? Like they probably paid more for Insomniac than Microsoft paid for most of their studios combined. You know, right? what? Like, I, I, I had a question. I was talking to one of the shows and they got at me, and I was like, "Then that's a lot of fucking money, uh, quarter of a billion dollars, right?" For a company. Yeah. No, this, this is and again, this is me just talking to people within the business and uh, but you know behind the scene learning how this shit works. Normally, when a company acquires another company, right, they look at them and look at the assets and seeing what they have to gain, right? You know, what yeah. they're going to acquire. To di- so, uh, Insomniac doesn't really own any of their IPs. They're known for making a lot of historical IPs. Yeah, Ratchet Sony Clank. owns uh, oh, Sony owns Ratchet and Clank. Yeah, they own and everything. Resistance Spider-Man, and, yeah. everything. The assets that only, they go with Spider-Man, Sony owns all that shit there, right? So maybe they had something, or you know what I mean. But Disney just released, and this is what I'm talking about. I don't know what, what, what Disney just made a statement that they want uh, other studios to 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 take and make you know AAA games they spent out of their IPs. So if I'm Microsoft right now. I will haul ass in that motherfucking and try to get the Black Panther or or uh, whatever the, with the hottest other goddamn yeah. characters. You know what I mean? Something you know what I mean that would be historic. I don't know who they would give it to or should maybe give it to. Uh, it depends on how this adventure game comes out. Uh, I know a lot of people are slamming it because uh, I think the biggest thing with adventures people don't like it doesn't have the character likenesses. You know what I mean? Yeah. Well, you have to pay extra for that. You know what yeah, I mean? It's it, like they, yeah, yeah. They, they, that's the big. You know what I mean? But uh, I've seen a couple of the combat scenes. They looked okay, and there's co-op. I'm all about that. So what yeah, and, and Sony has the beta to that first. So yeah. you know, like the exclusive beta or whatever. It's like that's another point of contention. It's like. You know the Final Fantasy stuff. You get to play that on on PlayStation. And that was my first Final Crap. Yeah. I, I played. I'm gonna go back and do it again. I'm gonna beat the boss. That's what I, that I can recall. Remember, I got a dog shit memory. The first Final Fantasy game. I played Final Fantasy 15. I'm sorry, uh, which I do. I like. It. I think if they do it, and it does have a co-op um, element, but it's it's not a part of the campaign, so y'all can progress because that's a big ass goddamn world. You know what I mean? But yeah. this Final Fantasy VII, I'm liking it. Now, some people are going to force it's the game of the generation. I can go that goddamn far. But I like it a lot. I like the action. I like the, the streamline. And, you know what I mean? And, uh, and it's crazy. Something that wasn't even on my radar. When it had, really didn't, never thought about it. Uh, whatever. But I'm going to buy that when it comes out. Uh, I think it comes out in May. Or whenever the fuck it comes out, I can't wait to play it. Hold up. My man Cake Batter says here. Great show, with the Xbox, the Xbox Backslider podcast. You ain't lying about that. That'd be a good name for show crap. The Xbox Backsliders. <laughs> I mean, listen, listen. It's easy to sit there and go, oh, Xbox well, 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 yeah, you're 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 flip flopping or whatever. But I think it's more egregious to sit there and just defend, 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 and just okay. be oblivious. You know, okay, to, to hey, anything hey, bad going on with Xbox, right? Hey, like, uh, we could uh, sit there and be like, hey, Rod Ferguson leaving the coalition was a great idea. Like, it's it's going to make things great. Like, that's not going to make things great. That was the guy who was, man. like, bleeding. He, he was bleeding gears. You guys don't understand. You know what I'm saying? It's like, hey, let me ask like you how do you okay. damage control or damage control the numbers to Gears 5? They announced 3 million, quote-unquote, players what? to their top-tier franchise. And now it's, like, out of the, what, the top 25 or whatever as most played games? Uh, like, this game completely bombed. 
Okay. Well, they said it also oh, Gears Damage 4. Control. I don't know how they go. Well, out. yeah, but but he said, he said yeah, it, it did better than Gears 4. Uh, to what? Players at launch? Uh, launch yeah, number? No, launch no. set? Like, he, he's so, like, that's yeah, Phil for you, right? Like, he's so, he, he didn't really say anything. Like, the game came in at number 7 on MPD. Number 7 for yeah. Gears of War. Yeah, that's that's true. I mean, but check this out, right? I, I got a question for you, right? And, and I, I'm, I listen, I listen, I would hate to question your integrity, right? When was your oh shit moment? Because I remember when crap day and day. I remember me talking to you crap. I had to refer to myself crap. We're going to go out this motherfucker. We're going to hop on this motherfucker CFD. This is dog shit. I yeah, said, my... right. Your ass went left. So that's, that was the goddamn game of the generation. I went yeah. left and said, God damn, the cracker was lacking. But when think, was your, think... your, your wake up and said, you know what? Um, uh, well, I'm funky for my, one, one of my moments was I got to play. This was still when I was all in on Xbox. I played God of War, followed by Detroit. Followed by Spider Man in that year, and Microsoft that was, that was had eighteen. That was yeah, yeah, yeah. And Microsoft had yeah. nothing, and then I still said, "I'll give it till E three. Wait till E three, right?" Yeah. So I said, "Wait till E three 2019." I said, "If Phil Spencer gets up there and tries to sell me another Xbox console without announcing one new AAA IP, I think that really is a slap in the face to everybody." And damn if that man didn't get up there and announce another Xbox and not a single new damn AAA IP. And at that moment, I was like, this guy has announced more Xbox hardware than AAA new IP mm. in this generation. And at that point, you start to kind of think, oh, well, wow, that's, that's ridiculous. You know, especially considering people go, you know, it's not about the hardware, it's about the software and services, right? Mm. Well, then, then, then stop announcing so many, you know, if you get it right the first time, if that Xbox One is right the first time, you don't have to come out with three more iterations. OK, so I always just felt like what they were doing was just kind of like slapping the fans in the face. And I got tired of kind of like defending that or whatever. And just, you know, being that fan that has spent so much thousands and thousands on games and hardware and controllers and, you know, just to, to really not have anything decent from their own first party or that, you know, they could have bought a game, to, you know, like what they used to do third party. And then you look over and like early on, I wasn't playing much PlayStation. I play a, a Uncharted or something. Yeah. And then I would go months and months without even turning it on. Yeah. So, you know, the more I started to play PlayStation and the variety and the stuff like the stuff that I didn't even think, of, like my first Yakuza game, I thought that game would suck. But it kind of reminds me of Shenmue a bit, it's, which is it's nothing weird. but a, yeah. a, a more a, a, a modern day Shenmue. I just said, but yeah. Day come so out, so like yeah. like you know, and when I was starting to give these games a chance, because you know, the typical Xbox response is, "Oh, I'm not going to play those games or whatever." And then when you finally get to play them, I and you sit down and you can just kind of enjoy these games, you just like like even Days Gone, it didn't score the best. But man, that's a new AAA IP coming out so late in the generation. Death Stranding, something unlike I've ever played before in my life. Oh, you right, like, you got the death stranding. Like you like, you like death stranding. I like it, man. I, I like it a lot. I thought it was really, really good. Mm -hmm. I know people go, "Well, it's not exclusive because it's on PC." Whatever, that doesn't hold weight because every Xbox game is on PC, and some are on the Switch. So I mean, you know what I'm saying? It's like for me personally, Death Stranding. I, I loved it. I they it, they tried something new. Uh, Dreams is a game like that's not my bag, but you know it's another high scoring Sony, you know, PlayStation exclusive. It just you know because it's like you can make anything in it, but it reminds me of Project Spark, where you know I'm not really gonna have the time to sit there and make something. I know you can play stuff in there, yeah, but good. you know I'm it's not, just I'm it's not real. Yeah, I'm, not, like, I'm, 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 I'm not good with, with my pay these bills. I'm not good with uh, with arts and craft. Hold up, uh, shout out to, uh, my shit is loading now, shout out to my brother AP the Shooter, Dante's Inferno 2, I love Dante's Inferno, uh, Quantum Break 2, the Alan Wake 2, should be three launch games on the S on the sex box, uh, the Great 180, don't need to find out, so how do you feel three years after launch, you bought the PS Pro come out with, which one came out first, the X or the Pro, I'm waiting, uh, the Pro came out before the X. Yeah, a year before. Yeah, it came out a year, but here's the thing, uh, to answer it even with the crap, we were going to get these mid-gen refreshes regardless, um, yeah. because these consoles came well, out. Well, let me ask so you something far, real quick. So if, if it's true, if it's true, they don't come out with an exclusive for the Series X for two years, and then in year three they come out with a mid-gen upgrade. Like, what's that do? I mean, that to me um, is another slap in the face. Um, here's the thing. All right, so we say, uh, what, what? I mean, which which school? It, I mean, if we don't have anything to support, and and it's sad to say, crap, I'm a Ray Shallow man. I would take beauty before fucking brains. No, look, look, I'm, I'm, okay, you want the truth. I'm gonna be honest. You know, uh, you know, it, this, this ain't no GRG shit here, right? The Xbox mm -hmm. X is a hell of a console. The oh, it games, is. It the, plays. Uh, it plays games the, great. Yeah, yeah. The HDR. The, 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 especially if you have an OLED TV, the motherfuckers, especially the multiplats, 
look amazing. And it's sad to yeah. say again, this is all on Microsoft, that Gears 5 is the first exclusive to come out two years later to take advantage of the hardware. Now, I know yeah. Ori, and the, Ori and the Blind Will of the Wish is going to come out, too, but it's more of a double-A game. But that's going to be pretty as all hell, too, right? But hear me out. Uh, they said two years they were starting to launch, but I don't know what he was alluding to them doing some, again, second and third party games that may exclusive be exclusive to uh, the box before the two years, right? Yeah. Um, he said, but what he said, but as far as the, like I said, you know, remember us going back and forth with the whole Mr. Media X and the dual stack two GPUs, remember that shit there? Crap? Yeah. And, and, yeah. and for the record, a match gaming, you can't tell me you ain't Mr. Media X, motherfucker, but check this shit out, right? Um, I what was that, under- like Hawaii or whatever? Yeah, like, whatever. Uh, I didn't understand how Microsoft can spend $1.2 billion and walk away with the week of hardware. Then meeting a few people having to come back, convert multiple SOCs. Uh, you know, I mean, you know, people people like to credit Phil the X. No, that shit was paid for in 2012 by Donnie Dean. We, we know that now, right? So we were getting the X and the Pro regardless. And, and to whoever, on, on whether the Sony fans or the Xbox fans, these are billion-dollar companies. They don't make what you call knee-jerk reactions. You know what I mean? They look yeah. at the cell, mail, cell phone market and how, you know what I mean? And I'm not going to lie. The upgrades were dope. HDR, I think, you know, that was the biggest thing, one of the biggest things this generation because i don't i don't want to you know i can imagine I'm, I'm, the games look great then but then when they bought hdr i'm like oh shit this should look crazy maybe yeah. you wouldn't go down you know what i mean you know what i mean at the end of the day so but microsoft they said they said you know people, the people be like well, a lot of the xbox man well sony hasn't said anything which you're absolutely right and um mm-hmm. and, I, and i haven't like i said i haven't talked to you in the crap i said to crap so much i can tell you so much i've heard right some things i can't even say on the air right and um a lot of people that you know like i said from playstation right or whatever they make that well not no no but a lot of motherfuckers from behind the scene that gave us the very fabric the culture of PlayStation they're no longer there so you sit back and them and you know me I'm you know I pay I'm business you know what I mean I'm good with that good with numbers I said damn Yoshida just sold 105 or 10 15 million consoles how the fuck does he get demoted Sony is making the most money they've ever made in their life now Yoshida is the head of fucking Indies. And uh, wholesome man, and some shit. Some guy with a strong, handsome guy with a strong jawline uh, from Guerrilla Games, and now has Yoshida spot. But then one step further, and I hear again, then Sean Layton's gone, right? That's publicly, right? Yeah. So many motherfuckers behind the scenes, right? Uh, 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 so this one of Sony and Japan Studios, he's gone. He's out of this one's over there. Like you know, I mean, there's so many little things, right? And that that has happened, like right? Maybe it may work out for the best. I don't fucking know, right? But I say that to say this, though. At the end of the day, like I said, you know, even if, like, Sony's ending this generation on such a high note with The Last of Us 2 and Ghost of Tsushima, and they have the other games like Neo. I understand yeah. Final Fantasy is, uh, quote unquote, time. Whatever, yeah. but it's there first, right? But if I had came to you, crap, and we'd have had this conversation when we did the couple of BGSC reunions about day and date, right? But I came to you guys six months ago, right? When we did the show, and told you that Sony will be publishing their first party games on the console. You motherfuckers said, Z, there you go, that motherfucker getting high. He bagging them pills again. Look, 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 right? And right, so let me just hear me out, right? So again, me just hearing things and and then and then I, and I tell motherfuckers, be buried with those comparing games or just saying something that uh, pleases you. Well, no, it was the MLB. No, the deal with Sony with the MLB was they were the only one that could make baseball games, uh, first party games. That, that didn't exclude uh, EA or fucking uh, 2K. It wasn't viable for them. You know what I mean? So, so Sony paying for the, the, the license for the MLB and the pay, Players Association, say if this franchise sells four or five million. It being business, because uh, hit, hit me out, check me out, crap. Because it, it was really about selling the box. Microsoft has the biggest game in the world, which is Minecraft. They've decided still to put that motherfucking shit on other platforms to make the money. So Sony sits back and say, you know what? They see the type of money that FIFA makes. They see the type of money that 2K makes from their player, you know, cards or, or FIFA. You know what I mean? We got the only baseball game in town. This is basic business one on one. Like you know what I mean? So. I, I like out of, out of the room of saying what these companies will or won't do. Like, nah, it's a business. All I can say this scrap to you or to whoever, all we can do is we can hold their feet to the flame, fire, and and and, and long Sony still release quality software games. Well, I mean, I you know, I still think that you have to have something 
to your platform, whether you're gonna whether Sony does a service thing eventually or not, like Microsoft, right? You still have to have stuff like Disney Plus has different content than Netflix, and Netflix has different content than Hulu. You still have to have your own original content. Like they can't go and put you know all their stuff on other platforms. Otherwise, well, you're I'm, not, no, no, I'm not. Yeah. No, 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 no. I'm not saying that. But if they do day and date or or, or, or more on PC. Crap, you remember that wouldn't was, surprise that wouldn't surprise me. No, no. I mean, you remember, I, remember the argument? Well, I'll just get Titanfall on PC. Remember that like some and then she yeah. sold ten thousand copies for the month, right? Everybody got these twelve thousand dollar PC. I'm a console yeah. gamer. Look, 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 check this shit out, right? And and look, Microsoft, all of their exclusive back in the day, they've always been on PC. No one Halo, Fable, Gears, no one game Nice Adobe Republic, Jade Empire. No one gave a fuck. We're talking about consoles. You know what yeah. I mean? And, and just to be I fair. I mean, you, you tend to get over it pretty fast. I mean, one of the things that I think bugs me is that everything on Xbox goes to PC, but not everything goes day and date. That Like that Gears Tactics game, that there's not even a release date for that on Xbox. Yeah. You know? Yeah. And there is one for PC, or they get like, you know, Age of Empires. Like, they're getting exclusives there, whereas the console seems to be kind of an afterthought or whatever. Yeah, that's um, what I don't like. The, the, yeah. That was my, that right there, that was my, I know people laughed at me. And it was funny that Age of Empire meltdown. Crap, that was all tear. That was all pain, raw emotions. That was yeah. me reaching out. I was on the stage. I was a thespian trying to get my Grammy, my Oscar, right? My my shining moment. Like it was funny as all hell. They had a better show for Age of Empire. I remember that shit than they all yeah. fought on the goddamn console. That was my that that there is my only issue again with the box and what Microsoft are doing. They the motherfuckers be paid for your service. This, that, and the other. X PC guys get it free. And yeah. that was that was the turning point. Not that I say I don't give a fuck about it. I don't give about gears tactic, gears pop, none of that shit, right? But they get our games day and date. But we got the gears win. pop had almost as many players as gears three or well, gears whatever five. The case, I'm like yo, <laughs> that and this that again, where I say yeah. they lost their identity and like you forget this cool core hip crowd. Because again, it's sad to say, fuck, I'm nobody. But when you lose a, a diehard motherfucker like me that spent over three thousand dollars in hardware. Or so many collect this, that, and the other, and I'm looking at you, motherfuckers, the cock out like y'all motherfuckers bugging. The, and I understand there that the, the casuals outnumber me, whatever the one, but I, I, I was probably just spending most casuals. You know what I mean? When you yeah. lose your core, at the end of the day, like that, you know, and they totally. I know I, I get cruel to being a Donnie D fanboy and all that shit. All I say is under Donnie D, we had true exclusives, great third party marketing deals. Was he perfect? No, the man was no goddamn safe. I'm not saying that. Motherfucker Phil came in this bitch and said, Kumbaya bless us all. It's unhealthy to, have to keep third-party content. Yeah, well, well, like, the main thing is, for me, anyway, with, like, the PC stuff, is, like, they're getting the, all the exclusives. The, all, they're, they're getting to the play against us, and, and some of the times we can't even disable that. And they're not having to pay for Xbox Live. So you start to kind of maybe question that a little bit, like what's going on here? And then it's like they, they have that focus on PC where they were now something big, like stuff on PC. Like, I don't care about Master Chief Collection on PC. You know, like I, I don't care about PC announcements at E3. Like there's a PC show for that. You know, do, like people that, that watch that or watch the Xbox show, watch it for, you know, the X, they're console gamers for the most part. So, you know, you cater to the audience and, and, and show what they, what, what they want. You know, yeah. like I don't, I don't know. Like to me, it was always like the message was a little bit off. Like yeah, I, I think Phil, Phil has always just got a slick answer for everything. You know what I mean? And that, that's, yeah, yeah, he, he, he does. He he, he pretty much just had you know a slick answer for every damn thing. And um, you know, and, and I like some of what he says, but obviously some of what he says, um, you know, it, it isn't isn't really accurate in my opinion. You know, like you know, he says, oh well, we're not going to pay for this, and then they go and pay for that, or they they say they're not going to do this, and then they go and do that. Well, but anyway, okay. dude, my my time is is, is, okay, is go, pretty go, go, much go. up. Go, we'll get crap. Get I uh, yeah. too late. I'm gonna continue the show. I guess, I guess, I guess, I guess, okay, man. Hey, man, it was a good time talking no to you, man. No, no, no I'll, I'll catch you. I'll catch you guys later. Peace out in the chat. Thanks everybody for stopping by. All right, let me, let me get some later. bills here, right? Because right, I got other shit that I need to talk about. Or want to talk All right, man. About. No problem. Later, um, bro. My man, AP the shooter. AP said, uh, "Dante's Inferno 2. I, I love Dante's Inferno one. I, I loved it. Um, uh, but EA, uh, I know they still only IP. Riskful Games, one who made it. And where the hell is my Dante's Inferno? It was over there somewhere. I, I loved it. And uh, if you got to the end of the game, literally, you were fighting the devil. As the devil was at the devil was like about with a half man, half goat, Paul with his long slung down to his ankle. They ain't blur none of that shit out. That was inside the game, but it was a dope fucking game. You know what I mean? Dante's. If those who know the story of Dante's Inferno, like, you know what I mean? It was, it was crazy. That was a good game for me. And gaming, what year did that came out? Maybe, um, 
2000, I want to say 11, because I beat, it, either that came out before God of War, because I went from playing that, God of War, and then Mass Effect 2, like, I was in my, like, that was, like, great gaming for me that year, they all came up back to back, and I beat them all, bang, 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 you know what I mean, and God of War 3 was, like, my first God of War, and I, I was hooked on the goddamn franchise, uh, but that will be, I don't know what happened to Risk for Game, that had been a, bit, a good acquirement from, uh, from Microsoft, if they, you know, uh, they once EA let them go, going out to, to buy them. I don't know if they, they don't have any quote unquote IPs. Most likely, all the IPs uh, belong to EA. But yeah, I, 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 Dante's Inferno was dope. Now, I mean, Quantum Break 2. Now, rumor has it that uh, Remedy is working on a PlayStation uh, 5 exclusive, uh, which should be dope. You know what I mean? Um, you know what I mean? Uh, so I know uh, Sony. We'll fund them, give them the time to make sure the game comes out right. And to me, I, I think that's a good match. Sony and Remedy, even though you know them from Microsoft. But Remedy takes a long time to make their games. Because be honest with you, Control is nothing but the spirit successor to Quantum Break. Literally, but with, with, with a female. You know what I mean? Uh, Quantum Break 2, Island Wake 2. Island Wake, you know what? You know what? Island Wake was a good game. I beat, and I don't really like horror games. But the problem with Island Wake, and it, 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 it did eventually go on to sell, I think, about 10 million copies, give or take or whatever. But it released along the same day as Red Dead Redemption. It released the same day as Red Dead Redemption. So, you know what I mean? It is what it is. Uh, so my man here said, uh, how do you feel about... So how do you feel three years after you bought the PS4? The Pro came out, which one came out first? The Exit Pro. Hey, LeBro, I'm all about new and shinier. I, listen, my man, a great one. I, I don't know if you're asking me that question. Well, more or less for crap. Crap is all... I'm just being a mean home. Crap has always been... The Archie Punker for gamer. I remember those BGSTs when I was told those new consoles were coming out, and I was literally the only one. They don't want to believe me again, right? I'm all about new. You know, that's just me. I like new console, like new pretty and shiny and shit. You know what I mean? And you know, crap. Uh, I don't know if he had a 4K TV at the time. He can care less about that shit. You know what I mean? You got some guys like even in this community right now. Look, look. God bless my brother Hart Porter Rock, die hard gamer. He ain't got a pro. He got a slim. Some people just don't care about that. Me, I want to play outside. I know you, you get the best version on PC. I just don't like the problems a lot of times that come along with the PC. And all my friends, they play on consoles. You know what I mean? I know crossplay is a, a, a new thing, the new wave. And that's why I play Call of Duty so much now. It's because I get to play with a lot of you PlayStation guys. And even some of you guys are on PC. And we all get to bug out and play together. You know what I mean? Uh, but in, in Mortal Kombat, like crossplay, like I told you guys. That's, that's, you know, the future. Don't be against it, you know what I mean? Uh, but I, and look, if they came up with the, uh, uh, and I wouldn't be surprised because it was successful with them. Three and three years later into the generation, they came up with the Xbox Series Sex, Sex, Sex at 15 T-Flops and uh, play whatever the, the PlayStation is going to be. And guess what? I own them motherfuckers right then and there. But uh, you, I want you to, like, uh, let's, to be fair, hear me out, and I'm going to get to my man Mendoza, right? Whatever the PlayStation is, whether I'm here still 9, if it's 10, doesn't matter, right? Or 12, right? A, a GTX 1080 Ti with about 10, 11 flops, whatever. We're talking about in the console. Hi, shit, that's a lot of goddamn mustard on the box. You know what I mean? Th these are going to be some very capable systems. And these developers are going to be able to do amazing things with these consoles. And I'm fucking... I know, like, the first glimpse of the first next generation game that we saw more like is uh well they saw that more but but even the facial animations and and, and hell like, whether you like the game or not like i'm like oh shit and i didn't care for the first one if that's just the glimpse on what's to come i can only imagine what last of us 3 is going to look like or uh the next spider-man i remember the developer was talking from uh, 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 Guerrilla Games, and they wanted to add a, a, a flying aspect to the game, but they couldn't do it because of uh, the RAM limit limitation. They have enough RAM, so I I can't wait to see what these games do. And ultimately, again, it's going to be up to Microsoft and Sony to showcase what their console could do. And you know, uh, listen, I'm gonna get credit with credit. Who does that best? Nintendo. You know why? Not saying that I like it. Nintendo make their hardware for them. And if third party this shit can get up here and work, then fine. Sony, and I like it though, Sony and Microsoft go to third party. Hey, this is what we're working on. This is what we got. What do you guys think? Yada, yada, yada. 
Nintendo now. You know what I mean? Yeah. My man John Madonna said, Crap likes Death Stranding. Crying Jenny, Jenny, LOL, listen to crap. It's just shit. It's like listening to a long, whiny fart. Uh, y'all motherfuckers don't like crap, man. Like, what, like, a lot of motherfuckers don't like crap. Like I said, I don't know, like, what, what it is or what it was. You know what I mean? Um, I don't know. Like, you know what I mean? Maybe you think it's just June. Like, look, I'm going to be fair. And I'm not, you know, I'm not capping for crap. I'm not capping for no, I'm keeping it all the way a buck, right? We've had conversations behind the scenes, right? And I used to tell them the conversations we have behind the scenes. Like, you know, you know, you know, you know, there's uh, a situation is a problem. And again, I'm not uh, taking a shot at any pro Xbox guys out there or pro Xbox podcast. It's me being real, right? And I'm hoping just for gaming that their, their problems are fixed, right? You know, and I'm going to say this again, just me being a gamer. This last video game award show, they had the best showing in five minutes. They did probably in five years. And probably one of the reasons is that they got the old guy back from marketing that they have from the 360. You know what I mean? Them being aggressive, just that, you know, he's back in charge now. So, you know what I mean? So, just me being overall being a gamer. And, and, and I tell you guys, at gaming is at its best when they're both at their height and they're battling each other. You know what I mean? Regardless who you know, who you prefer, it doesn't matter. You know what I mean? What games you <coughs> prefer, you know what I mean? But they're gaming, you know, as at its best. Like, if you're a gamer, who doesn't want a great game? You know what I mean? At the end of the day, you know what I mean? I wish Nintendo made more, uh, how you say, powerful hardware. And I can get the game, the more mature games that I like. I'm not into handheld gaming. That's not for me. I'm not knocking those that like it. But I ain't paying $300 to play Mario. I have a Switch in my house. Shout out to my, uh, Uncle Kratos. He bought Maya one for Christmas. And if it was sold out, I couldn't find it anywhere. You know what I mean? But that's just not my thing, you know what I mean? At the end of the day. So, you know, but again, like I said, just spoke to Crap for a minute. He said he couldn't stay long. Uh, he, had, he had some other shit. Crap just got married. Uh, you know, this shit was fired next year. Shout out to AP the shooter. But just overall, like, you know what I mean? Like, fucking now, like, listen, I know I always do these shows where there are so many people and, you know, whatever the case may be. I let, you know, and again, I let everybody come up and do their thing and I sit back and I bug the fuck out, right? Realistically speaking, right? And again, this is not a shot at anybody. I, you know what I mean? You know I don't bite my tongue. And not to make this into an RIP uh, Xbox podcast. So how, how you guys say how did I do it? And shout out to my man, Johnny Mendoza. Shout out, hold on, we can take one second, Brian Mason, right? You know what I mean? I think one of the big issues with the Xbox community is that they stay quiet for too long. Right, you have some saying some stuff now, like uh, what's the guy MBG MP MBB what's the name Muscle Bound Gamer, right? He took my and again, shout out to him, probably shout out to him. He took everything that I said. What it was like, um, what do you call it? Um, uh, Jerry Lulu, Jerry Lee Lulu, Lil Richard, and, and Jerry Lou Hot Balls of Fire stole this shit, stole my shit, came by and get free. I mean, they the album when I went out there, hung my black ass up on the cross. And again, me just thinking like, hey, you know I bleed green. I got you motherfuckers say bleed green, Sony Pony. And I'm saying that there is a problem. There's nothing wrong if you like games like Crackdown or Sea of Thieves or State of Decay or, might I say, Zoo Tycoon or Lucky Tales or Record. But for four years, this is all we got outside of Gears and Force and Halo. Maybe you're not even with the, the one that does the Horizons or the... How you say, uh, The Last of Us, or Uncharted, or just that and the other, right? But I'm being honest with you. No cap, you know God of War is one of my favorite games, right? But I believe not even enjoyed, I even enjoyed Detroit Become Human more than I did God of War. I just got caught up in that storyline. Like, maybe, like, the whole Black Lives, Lives, Lives Matter, Robot Lives Matter. Like, that shit was just dope. And I didn't get that feeling from anything I, of course, I you know, I've spent more time on Gears, the multiplayer. I like to play. Like, I do my podcast. I like to go live and talk and bug out with you jokers, right? You know what I mean? I, I have so many, how you say, personal uh, relationship with a lot of you guys. Like, my brother AP, the shooter, got my number. Coop, man. You know, I talk to you guys every now and then, you know what I mean? So, I, you know, you know, extension of myself outside of the character of Next Gen 720, right? But, you know what I mean? I, 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 I didn't get that anything... I like, let me be wrong, I like the Rise, I like the story of Rise. Rise needed a sequel. The problem with Rise became very competitive, I mean, I'm sorry, uh, repetitive, because all you had was the same weapon or the same sword. Have you gave my man Rise some magic, switched his weapon up or something, 
Hey, you nigga, you got to not as good. Nigga, the story was ill. The guys were basically playing the game. You know what I mean? The combat, but you just had the same weapon, the shield, and sword throughout the whole game. But the story and stuff wasn't a bad game. Let me play this bill right quick. You know what I mean? And that and taking it to be, it was a connect game. My man Brian Mason, long time no secret, brother. Hey, Brian, uh, cause when you do show, if you do show out, if you inbox me on Twitter, give me your your your, your address if I send you a T-shirt. You know what I mean? Who do you think will announce their price and release date first? I have a feeling that Sony will tr try to release the PS5 first and undercut my undercut Microsoft on the price. How do you think Microsoft res respond to something like that? Great question. Shout out to my man Brian Baker. Uh, the solo, you got me. See, Misty Solo Stream, Brian Baker. I'm here, brother. Talk to me. Right? Um, here's the thing, right? As far as pricing. Now, it's something I talk, I don't want to be tuning in a lot, but something I talked about pricing yesterday, right? Now, you're not going to hear no scream. We're going to get the truth here, right? According to the Blue Mail article, for the parts alone, everything that's going to go on the PlayStation 5, mind you, is a console, it's $450, US dollars, right? That's not. Including them um, having it managed, you know, put together Foxconn shipping taxes tariffs different company. If the PlayStation Four were the company at four hundred dollars, I'm sorry, PlayStation Five, I will be a little concerned. The reason why is that I want to, I you know, what I mean, I want that I mean they gimped out on some shit, you know, what I mean, because uh, that's a lot of money to lose on a console, you know, what I mean, over hundred some odd dollars. This ain't like it was back in the day, right? You know, different rates and different things. Uh, uh, you know what I mean, I I expect the, the the PlayStation Five to be at least four hundred fifty to five hundred dollars. Now this comes down to Microsoft. Now now according to Phil, Phil has lied in the past. He said he won't be outdone with power and price. You know what I mean? If who I mean who's going to announce first? Now we are talking. If the rumors are correct, we are talking about a twelve T flop console, right? And people will say that Sony does more or less. It's up to Microsoft. If their console is going to be a little more than Sony's or whatever the case, or even the same price, they have to go out there and show why this motherfucker costs whatever it costs. You can't, you can't depend on Digital Foundry with the break the break now. They have to take the lead and say, you know what? Now we can be subjective or objective, you know what I mean? Uh, you know, uh, what game you prefer. Oh, because it all comes down to graphics and power, right? And I told you guys, one guy tried to tell me yesterday, well, well, if they both doing 4K60, what's the matter? I, I gave him an example, right? We're gonna be, we can be, be, real, be realistic here. You can have a game running, you can have NBA 2K25 running two, uh, 1080p60 on your Switch, right? And also have it running 1080p60 on your Pro. What's one look? Which one's gonna look better graphically? Resolution just gives you a sharper image. It's the textures and the shaders will give you the better graphics. Now, if rumors are correct, the PS5 is supposed to be was running on a hybrid architecture. When they net when what's her name, Lou Song, whatever. When she had Sony on stage, when AMD had that thing, it was talking about the Navi, Light Navi, whatever. It's a hybrid between uh, RDNA and GCN. So it's like RDNA, like I said, was was 1.5. So it wasn't even so much the shocker that the Xbox from the GitHub leak. Was 12 T flops. The shocker that Quake went for that it was full RDNA 2.0. You know what I mean? Maybe that may be a game changer. You know what I mean? You know, but like, like if you have the Pro on the X, I'm not gonna lie. You know, there are a, a difference. You know what I mean? Like in some of the multiplats, is it that huge? No, but if you like the best, like the multiplats look better. Like it's a more powerful console. It is what it is. Microsoft exclusives have just been dog shit. The first game, like I said again, and it's, and it's all Microsoft fault to take advantage of the Xbox hardware is what's Gears of War 5. Gears 5, if you like it not. I remember me, because my son and them got it early, right? Like two weeks early. Now, I remember me coming here doing this show. And and I didn't know that it was 1080p. I didn't know that it was 60 frames, the the multi, I mean, the single player. And I was saying, man, it's just smooth. Like, if those who play Gears 5 and play the other Gears, you know this shit is much smoother. Like, it, it, you know, Gears don't mean like, uh, like a tank. Doom, doom. Gears 5 is very smooth. You know what I mean? And I'm like, oh man, that motherfucker was just smooth. Like, god damn, like, oh shit, this shit, like, you know what I mean? And I, you know, and I didn't know that it was 60 frames. You know, and I didn't know at the time. But it, this shit was just so fucking smooth. You know what I mean? But, and that's sad to say that they released a, such a, a nice piece of hardware and then nothing to support it but multiplats. That's all Microsoft's fault. But you know what I mean? But, but how would they respond? 
with aggressive, like again, what they're going to have to do, Brian, to answer your question, not to get too long with it again, Microsoft has to go back to the Microsoft of old. Until their studios get their ducks in row in, in order, they have to go back out there and do those second and third party deals like they did with the, the original Xbox. The Otagis, the, the, the Jade Empires, the Sedekis. In between you getting your Halos and just that and the other. Go out there being aggressive and, and getting the marketing deals to the biggest multiplats. Not only, you know, not saying Microsoft didn't get any deals for the multiplats. But they didn't have any exclusive content. Sony did the deal with Destiny or Call of Duty. They got exclusive content in their box for a year. You know what I mean? They have to go back to doing that with what they, with what they used to do. You know what I mean? If, they, you know what I mean, you know, it's to be taken serious, motherfuckers, they hate to give it a chance. I'm not going to lie. You know, with Cyberpunk, I know they have the marketing deal with Cyberpunk 2027. You know, that's a that's a, a very pro-consumer thing. And that's why I will say the PC audience... They always support CD Projekt because they don't charge for the DLC. You know what I mean? And they say, hey, if you buy one copy, we're not going to charge you for the upgrade. Microsoft already said they're not going to charge you for the upgrade. So you remember how Sony said, hey, this is how we trade our games? Now you got you, you got Uncharted. I'm sorry. The Last of Us 2 about to come out in May, right? Or something like that. Could, how, could they fully go out there and charge you again? You know, $60 with a straight face of confidence? Now, I know it's going to be 4K60 on the PS5 when your biggest competitor are giving free upgrades to those games. Whether you like those games or not, that's going to look at it as like being very anti-consumer. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? So, just, just being fair. So, there's a lot of things. You know what I mean? Um, do I expect that from Microsoft? I don't fucking know. To be honest, I don't know. And I, you know what? I don't... You know what? Look, 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 look. I don't care who wins. Long as I get the motherfucking games, bro, I'm a, I told you guys from the beginning, I'm going to own both consoles. I will always play shooters on the Xbox. Why? Because I prefer the controller. I can't do shooters on the DualShock. Yeah, yeah motherfuckers, maybe when, when you go out there and buy this motherfucker, tune out the goddamn uh, Nikon controller, the input lag on it is crazy. But that's just what I'm used to. You know what I mean? And then with crossplay, it don't matter. Now, as far as fighters and just that and the other, I don't have a problem playing with the DualShock. It, it is what it is, you know what I mean? But shooters, I will always play. And I just got back into shooters because of nothing them and us competing and, 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 and talking shit, you know what I mean? But and, uh, listen, to all fairness, I don't expect either company to have no big shit there day one. Because the install base is not going to be there, you know what I mean? Uh, Sony said they will have two, X, two PS5 exclusives. Um, they did announce Godfall. Oh, even though it's going on PC, but I don't count the PC. I'm looking forward for that. I'm looking forward to that. Um, but I don't see them dropping a exclusive God of War or a Spider-Man. Maybe for maybe probably to the first two years also. Why is that? Because the the average Joe Smo consumer are not going to go out that motherfucker and, and, and spend five dollars on a box, especially when you got Activision, EA, and Ubisoft still supporting old hardware. Like I look 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 look. One of the issues that I had this generation, I said it before, it was well, all the cross-gen development. Now we're talking about the same architecture. Trust me, Activision, EA, 2K, they're going to milk this motherfucker out. I wouldn't be surprised, bro, if they don't support these fucking, the PS4s and the, or the X's, whatever the fuck, damn near the whole entire generation. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? Uh, we said even hold on, hold on. Listen to it. Let me see. Let me, let, me, let me check my free message in that. If I didn't miss anything, hold on one second. Make sure I ain't got nothing. I missed. I was talking to crap. Uh, the free message app is working also, right? See, even when the PS5 drops, uh, I still don't have a, a highly, a highly anticipated game. The Last of Us Two goes to the Chamber. I really don't even have to cop either system to be real. But I like new tech. Yeah, like me, I like new tech. I like the new shinier shit. I like you know. Um, to me, it's like, you know what I mean, um, like I do, like, you know, standing in line, GameStop or Best Buy, I'm talking to people, exchanging gamer tags. That's like, that's, that's, like, that's gaming. But I don't, I can't tell you when, when the last time I stood in line for a midnight release launch for a fucking, a game. I haven't done that in years. I haven't done that in years. You know what I mean? You know, like I said, like I, like, like I was telling tell, uh, my man Jay Love for he hopped in his screen and told me how much money he making all this X, Y, and Z, right? That 
gaming changes so much. And it's, it's not with this foregone conclusion. So at the beginning of the generation, everybody was complaining about always online or DRM. When was the last time we heard that? You know what I mean? Gaming changes so much. You know what I mean? And Or, or to say that, I, and again, I'm just being real. And I'm telling you, some of the things that I've heard behind the scenes, behind Sony, is not me being gloomy. And look, it's crazy. When I had these conversations with Jeff, oh, Z is turning back into an Xbox. But oh, bro, listen. Xbox is dog shit. So they show me other, right? You know, it ain't about that. Just me being real. It's a business. Like, who would you think the Wii, who out that bitch sell 200 million consoles, come out with the Wii U fall flat on their face? Here you go with the PlayStation 2, one of the most successful generations ever, come out fall flat on their face with the PS3. It's not a foregone conclusion. Listen, the hardcore are going to be there. It's not us. It's whoever goes out that motherfucking capture the minds and souls of the casuals. That's who determines who wins the fucking console generation. It's not the hardcore. I'm trying to tell you some real shit. I keep telling you this. Ain't about us. It's about the motherfuckers that go out there, go out that bitch and buy five or six motherfucking games a year. And you know, whether Matt and Call of Duty, as whoever can catch her, the mind frame and shit, them motherfuckers. That's who determinedly wins the generation. You know what I mean? Uh, you know, this big, you know, I, I, I check this shit out, right? Um, fuck it. I'm gonna use story. Look, 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 hit the like button. Uh, my man, John, what's in Podesta, right? Uh, for those, you know, I did a, a, a video, an interview, uh, with this guy named uh, Podesta. John Petty, I'm sorry. I'm horrible. Sorry for fucking your name up, right? Now, he's a part of the MPD. You remember, they used to make the MPD numbers public, right? This generation was horrible, you know what I mean? And to be a part of the MPD, uh, it's like $50,000 to get to get your hands on his number. And his company counts pixels. Anything dealing with pixels. Whether it's TVs, DVDs, Blu-rays, AMD, anything dealing with Pixel, they're dealing with this company, right? So when I did the interview, don't get me wrong, I have, you know, I do the, you know, I say, the con the console will let me have fun. But I don't want to turn this shit off. That was a serious goddamn interview, right? And it wasn't about no Xbox versus PlayStation. He would just give me, now mind you, those numbers that he had were from AMD, AMD to their stockholders and how many APUs that they sold to Microsoft, SOCs rather, and how many SOCs that they sold to Sony. Now, sold to them doesn't mean that they was sold to consumers, you know, so yet they made in production. So at that time, when I did that interview, Microsoft sold 30, I'm sorry, they sold Microsoft 36 million SOCs, right? <laughs> so people go around, well, the Xbox One is at 40 million. And, it, and I remember they came out and attacked me and attacked that man. That man said, if I want to do another show, get the number. He tried to charge me like $15,000. I'm like, what? Like, this shit was crazy. And people always talking about I'm ruining their brand. Like, they fucked that whole thing up. Like, you know, like on some fanboy shit. Like, that's what I'm talking about. Motherfuckers not to turn it off or turn it on. Right away, they went out there and attacked that man because they didn't pick their console and the preferred life. And that wasn't even about the Xbox. This is all true stories. I swear on my dead grandmother, right? This is, this, you know what I mean? This was uh, not a fanboy shit. It wasn't me shitting on the X, but wasn't that time for that, right? So how the hell could they be at forty million at the time? They were, whenever I did the show, like two years ago, whatever the fuck. And that's why I tell you about that VG Art charts. This shit is fake. I actually, I actually knew the man who owns who owns it now. The VG Art site. He used to be from Plainfield, New Jersey. I was one of the first people there. <laughs> True story. But fuck all that, right? Um. So like, how could they be at forty million, right? Some Xbox guys saw that shit. Well, I talked to this one. Like, motherfuckers be lying. And when do shit you... Like, I'm telling you, none of these motherfuckers got no insiders. So how could the fuck could they be at 50 million and this, that, and the other when they only sold them 36 million APUs, right? SOCs. So that included what in, what in the deduction was, was sold because what counts as a sale. Like, you know, they try to muddle what was ship. Ship numbers are counting that sale because best... I'm sorry. Microsoft and Sony sell it to... Uh, Amazon or whoever the hell, it's like all oh, like they don't know. Like I'm just saying, that's what they count. That counts as a sale because they get paid. Then you know what I mean. So when like even when Sony told me we sold through this, like cut, cut the shit. Like, that's all fluff. Look, they sell one time. They they sell it to fucking Amazon and they get their money. They sell it to Best Buy to get their money. They don't give a fuck. Now it's up to them to move it and make their product. It's like if I'm selling weight. Check out the scenario. I sell. I sell. I sell. Uh, I, I sell. Keys of cocaine, right? All right, boom. 
My job is to sell it to you. Now, what you do when you take that bitch back to your block and break it down and what you make, that's on you. I can't count that as a sell also. Nah, it's one sell. That's all us across the board with everything, right? But motherfuckers jumped up and down and fucked that whole... Like, I can never get that man, baby. I mean, people talk about some 15. Like, what, look at this motherfucker. Like, what? Like, I'm telling like, like, this shit was crazy, bro. Like, like literally. And, and look, look, look. I let that shit slide. So sometimes when I go out there and say little slick shit about whoever... Just know that I'm not fucking with nobody first. They and they they did that shit. Like they be fucking with me. Like that shit was crazy, right? But anyway, make a long story short, right? So just talking. So who, who, determines on who's going to win the generation, or just to understand it. Sony's a um, a, I say a globally or it's out in more markets, whatever, right? But again, like I said, where America's one of the biggest well, was Microsoft lost America and they lost the UK. They never had anywhere else, and they was able to go toe and toe with the 360, right? But it's whoever can appeal, uh, appeal more to the casuals, and then when the friends, because if it's really about loyalty to the people, say, well, Z, if Sony, if motherfucker got all this in his backwards compatible, shit, the 360 and the Xbox One backwards compatible, motherfuckers ain't give a fuck about that. They went across the street to Sony. The diehard statements he was at 40 to 50 million, they might have stayed here or whatever, but the other motherfucker, 34, 40 million, went across the street. And then you got new gamers every day coming in, such as my grand. I could take my grandson PS4 right now, give him an Xbox One. As long as he got Fortnite in his season pass, he don't give a fuck. I could put that bitch on a fire stick or an iPad. As long as he got his shit, like, there are way more of them than it is us. That's why I was trying to explain on the show for my man J Love jumped in there screaming. Uh, 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 what he jumped in there? Yeah, I got, like, like, come on, like, like, we bugging the fuck out of here, man. We bugging the fuck out of here. It ain't, ain't got to be like that, man. That's some crazy shit, man. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? Final Fantasy 77, right? Play, I'm sorry, I'm going to, actually, I'm going, if I leave here, I'm about to get on Twitch right now and, and stream that. You know what I mean? Uh, no, He said, no, it's not explaining the same old talking point, because some of you motherfuckers got or remedial was hell, and you don't get it. Some of you motherfuckers, listen, no, 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 listen, I love my chat. Some of, you, some of you motherfuckers are remedial as hell and just don't get it. You know what I mean? Like, you know what I mean? Yes, ain't talking about me. It's like explaining to you motherfuckers the same shit. Like, this is a business. A fucking business. Like, you know what I mean? And Sony's not in it to, or oh, Microsoft or Nintendo. It's a fucking business about their shareholders. You know what I mean? It, 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 but my AP this is true. This, no, trust me. Like I look, look, ain't about me. Nah, like you motherfuckers don't get it. It's a fucking business. You know what I mean? Like, like, like real talk. Fuck it, the hell up out of here. Hold on, let me see if I can hold on. Hold on one second. Hold on, hold on one second. Hold on one second. Hold on one second. Hold on one second. Hold on. I'm sorry. Um, uh, Yeah, I'm sorry. So, like I said, it's like I said, it's a business, and you know, it's you know, uh, they're not in, like to to appease X, Y, and Z is what makes them. Is he there? Yes or no? Let's make it for him. All right, all right. Let me buy that little phone real quick. Let's make somebody waiting for electrician. Hold on, bro, man. Hold on one second. Hold on, hold on one second. Oh, I got, I got some shit for you. Hold on one second. We can, we can close this bitch for the bang. Let me switch. Hold on one second. We can close this bitch for the bang. Uh, where we at? It's uh, tied uh, all right, I'm back. Hold on. We, we, we live on air. Hold up. I'm, I ain't mean to bust up your conversation. Hold up. Oh. Uh, live you want another show? No, no. I just, I just ain't close this show. See if I can get my man. I want to say something. I get him on the line. I want to I ain't answer the phone. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, no, j Dubs was going to hop in here. Um, actually, who all, who all in here right now? Uh, 
I mean, what? me and Manhattan and Buck. Oh, shit, okay. All right. So, I, I was in here on my Twitch so streaming Gears 5 a little bit. Oh, uh, okay. Hey, 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 what you got about two viewers? <laughs> no, 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 five viewers. Twitch is your stream is dog. She's giving up, big fella. Listen, so, look, 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 look right? Uh, Jersey girl. So, so anyway, as I was saying, right? Uh, Xbox does for 2016, right? Uh, I'm going to be in for like, like 20 more minutes. Same old, not be. But, at the end of the day, right, when it's all said and done, right? Small people get your point, but the dumb ponies think you just an Xbox. Shout out to Faith, hey, shout out to Faith. You be having some funny shit on the gram. Yeah, yeah, they take it as me, uh, or, or dissing Sony, or just, nah, I'm just keep, keeping that shit a buck, like, you know what I mean? Like, I, I don't mind the fun and the bugging out and the theatrics, but this ain't, you know how you say, GRG, outside of us being, you know, having, you know, doing what we do and the contract with the water, that's the fun part, you know what I mean? But if we're going to be honest and be real, we got to, like, you know what I mean, call that bitch down the middle and call a spade a spade, you know what I mean? So, so Xbox, what's going on, Groot? A long time no see. Xbox do need to enjoy Gears Five. Was the only good game they got for the half they get. I like well Gears Five, and Gears Four. Uh, I didn't play that the Outer Worlds, even though you know it's not exclusive. I didn't play the Outer Worlds. Yeah. Uh. Profit and loss and margin are all the, that are all that is talked about in those broad rooms. How can they maximize their profit, minimizing their exponents, and, and bring and, and bring future tech? Good point. So, like I was saying before, right? Even at the nine point two T flops, right? And we are gonna close the show with this. That's why I asked, motherfucker, does power matter? Is price more important, right? You know what I mean? Um, nine point two T flop. I, I listen. Maybe they would. I just don't see Sony selling. A uh, nine point, maybe they will. You know, taking more than a fifty dollar loss on per console sold. You know what I mean? Like, you know what yeah. I mean? Yeah, yeah. But then again, they took they took much bigger loss on the PS3. If we look at that, right? So they could do that. Take that. 50, and, and you know, you know what? what? And, and, it's and, a grander uh, scheme of things. You yeah. look at it. Okay. All yeah. right, Parker. I'm glad the you said picture. that. Bigger picture. And okay. that's why Sony was in the financial problems they were in. At the start of the project, they went from being worth over $135 billion or something to then in uh -huh. 20, they didn't, they didn't turn a profit in nine years. That's okay. why we had that nine year but, console cycle. My, you know but I mean? rebut my rebuttal is this now things have changed. So now, okay, you look at they lost that money, right? Far like on the console, but how was they able to, far, how was they able to recoup that money back though? They didn't. I'm saying they didn't, right? Exactly. But now, right? Let's say now, if they had to take a loss on it, right? How can they possibly recoup this, right? Softwares and services, right? That's again accessories, right? I I I, 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 I say this again. Go I, ahead. I, I'll say this again, right? Yes, the the original, well, the, even the three sixty, they lost two billion with the Red Ring of Death, and uh, yeah. normally consoles and traditionally sort of lost. My Sony so lost on, the reason why they lost so much on the cell processor and the Blu-ray because that was supposed to the cell processor was supposed mm -hmm. to uh, power the next few consoles coming out. It was just the architecture was so hard to develop on, right? Yeah. So, yeah, so outside of that, you know what I mean? Of course, you know, microtractions, you got this, that, and the other. But if I'm telling you, for the parts to put this bitch together, it's $450. That's without building it. That's without shipping it. That's without taxes and tariffs in other countries. That's without uh, third marketing deals or games being bundled with it. You know what I mean? Um, so, you know what I mean? Uh, I, and, and listen, too, I'm going to be honest with you. I will be a little bit, it's me being, you know, um, liking tech or whatever the fuck, whatever the fuck the case may be. I will be a little, like, damn, I'm a little hesitant in this motherfucker, $400. I mean, like, what you didn't take out this bitch, you know what I mean? Like, that's what, at the end of the day, like, I don't mind paying $500 or whatever the fuck the case. Well, that's just me. You know what I mean? Yeah, I want a full, I, I want a full, I understand it's a console, well, but I want yeah. a full... Leap forward and, and the, look at the but start of this I generation. Think, we didn't get it, yeah. we didn't get that. These those consoles were so far behind mm -hmm. the curve when they came out and they yeah. sold a bitches at the profit, you know what I mean? So I'm but, just saying, I um, want to fall, yeah. you know. But they might skim back on the SSD, make it 500 ter ter um, I don't want that. The one terabyte. I don't want that. And listen, also, too, I'm saying, go ahead, uh, even with the SSD, Parker. Uh, we're talking about Sony's own proprietary hardware traditionally. Sony mm -hmm. has always charged more for their cards. 
I mean, their own proprietary you know, memory cards. Yeah, or here's a key word, traditionally now, but it ain't the same Sony as you alluded to before, right? So things going to be kind of different now. So we got to... You know this? Yeah. Business so, is business. I mean... Yeah, business. They're going to make that, I think, the correct business move, whatever, because they've been, they've been trending and they've been doing that. You've seen how they reshape um, the PS Now. And you look at the PS Now, right? They got control on there, though, you know? Where, remember, somebody jumped the gun and said, that's going to be on um, Game Pass, but actually okay. it's on PS Now. So, Kudos for them. Kudos for yeah. them. So well, uh, we can close the show. I mean, uh, yeah. so so how much do you expect the, the PlayStation Five to be? I mean, if the specs are to at nine point two T flops, close to four, four to I say four to five hundred dollars. Four to five. Pick one. Four or five. Um, if they're saying um, I don't know, but the thing is, it's hard to say because they wait on that Microsoft price so they can undercut Microsoft. I truly believe that. Because um, if they're the least powerful, right, they got to play the undercut game, basically, <coughs> and, and um, brand loyalty. Oh, and in oh, fact, brand least, loyalty? They, yeah, because they figure that like, oh, our fans are still stay. What is even though Microsoft possibly more powerful, and we're and we undercut them, we're the cheaper console. We still could like give you great, you know, say obviously compelling software, but. Graphically, um, it'll, it'll be much better than what you was getting on a pro and then on the Xbox X. So it'll be like these two times possibly more powerful than an X, you know, probably at a more affordable entry point price. I think than the X now, I think, I think it's just the, I think the X, the, what you about, the Xbox One X? I think the Xbox oh, at least one. A, yeah, yeah, that's like my fault. The, it was like, like one and a half, I guess you could say, um, more powerful, one and a half more powerful, not necessarily two. At least one and a half more powerful, though. Oh, okay. All right, like, I'm going to say this again. What it comes down to this is, before I get the hell up and hop on Twitch, okay. what it comes down to this is uh, brand, I mean, not brand loyalty, is who wins the hearts of the of the, of the casual consumer. Yes. You know I mean? And I'm being real with you. If, say, if, I, mean, I don't know, Microsoft rumored, don't know, be coming out with two consoles, a lower yeah. end model that's mm -hmm. going to sit right between uh the ps5 and the fucking x now what if microsoft releases a a lock card you say it's 300 dollars, right now mm -hmm. it's not doing native but it's upscaling but doing the same shit that the ps4 sorry the ps5 is doing right okay but not native but upscale right okay R how you say right now microsoft's number one selling console is the s sony's number one selling console is a slim Okay. So if motherfuckers look the casual, they can go out there and buy a next generation console. I'm just giving you the scenario. At three hundred dollars. It's not native four K. It's upsell four K, but you're getting sixty frames a second and better graphics, right? You get to play all the the, 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 the most okay. shiny. It's true. Okay. You know what I mean? So that really would say, you know what I mean? And I'm not saying that's true. I'm just going on what here say. What was it you say? I'm you know what I mean? I might buy a lock card or something just for the front room, just for extra Blu ray player. Cause I gave my other one away to my daughter. Her, her okay. Xbox broke, right? So I don't have one in the front one to watch Blu-rays anymore. You know what I mean? So, you know, that's just they say when they say Sony is aiming to rock in the hardware. So not even they now see again. That's why you you not that's why gamers announce well Sony's coming out with a PS5 Pro, like but this like we gotta we gotta pick and choose. The power don't matter. What's about the games? It, it, I'm gonna say this. I think it's a combination. Because power does matter. Part Power don't matter. No, yeah, yeah, power, it doesn't matter because you're going to need the power to run the games in a certain way that's mm -hmm. going to attract the casuals because like the eye candy. So it's, you know, just for the casuals though, right? Hardcore is not. It's going to be about the games and stuff they're going to offer us, right? Mm -hmm. But for the casual, you're going to need that eye candy appeal. Yeah. But, but like I said, uh, like I said, free parking, I don't know what the hell that's about. Um, if, like I said, I don't think the adaptations for these consoles are not saying they're not going to sell well. My man Jay Love when I said he jumped out the window, which well, is what I was trying to say. I'm close to show with this. I don't okay. think the adaptations for these consoles are, are are going to be as big as they were for this generation, um, because we gotta realize this: motherfuckers was we wanted new shit. That was an eight and nine year console cycle. Normally, console cycle lasts four to five years, and we get new shit, right? And, yeah. and, and you know what I mean, and um. And then they didn't really get that boost, that jump off until 2016 uh, yeah. when Activision and 2K and all of them start, you know, supporting 
the PS3, what well, you couldn't get that new Destiny 2 and uh, yeah. uh, the duties and all that shit on the Xbox 360 and the PS3 no more. So the casuals didn't have a choice but to move on and get, you know, uh, what do you call it? Newer hardware, you know what I mean? So, so yeah, um, I mean, so what, what AMD did, um, so is Sony gonna have RDA2? Because, um, no, no, because when the card they showed on, when, 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 when this yet to be seen, but when they showed, um, when Navi was on, um, what's her name, Lisa Sue, whatever, was on stage with Sony, yeah, that, that card is a hybrid that when they was talking about that the RTX with them is uh, RDNA, which is between RDNA and GCN. And it's okay. the same stage that, you know, Sony, I'm sorry, that, they, that so Sony and they were on the same stage. It's, it's so, 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 basically, um, we don't, don't so, like, I don't even know, like, like, being that Sony hasn't, like, I guess, been, um, said anything about the specs, so who knows what the specs are. No, we don't and, know. Um, Everybody's okay. going by those, everybody are going by those GitHub leaks, um, and, was, you know, saying more concrete, because... Uh, what was said about the Xbox, and it turned out to be true. Twelve T flops, just that and the other. Yeah. And Sony was using it was nine point two, and you know what I mean. But so the, is that? But based on the specs, is that from Sony, right, or from the GitHub? Nine point two. That's a, no. That's stuff like AMD. That. That's what their the investors are, what they're making and what they're building. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. You know what I mean, yeah. So is that a five hundred? In your mind, do you believe that's a five hundred dollar console? And I, mind, I would pay five hundred dollars for it. No, that's what I'm saying, right? I'm saying, and, yeah. and do you think that Series X, the specs that they've shown so far, is that a five hundred dollar console in your mind? I look at it or higher. Yeah, I look at it if I look at it as being a six hundred dollar console, uh, but I'm just also just going by what Phil said. He said he won't be outgunned with the price and um, at the pricing and uh you know power so i don't know okay so, I, don't, I don't okay. have i don't have a problem paying here's a, here's a, okay this is like a hypothetical scenario so let's say the series x is 600 then i could see sony putting that um 9.2 um system right as um 500 okay. yeah i don't problem with that i don't have a problem with that i don't, and, so and, I don't know if it'll come out with two though I, I, and again it's not going to be the casuals there they want to get it. it's going to be the hardcores they're going to line up De but, but, but listen this is the message we go it's up to Microsoft to show why their console is six hundred dollars. They can't oh, sit yeah. back and depend on third party. They, they got to come out that motherfucker. Now whether they do that or not, I don't know. They got to come out there and show and wow the audience. And like, I'm not gonna lie, when they showed that bit with them faces and shit, um, Hellblade Two, and I'm like, oh shit, like you know what I mean? Whether I like the game or not, I'm just judging by what I see. We, yeah, we, we did see we did see one game from Sony. Even though it look, I am, I should say, I'm probably more interested in playing that. I didn't care for the first Hellblade. Uh, I like like looter shooters. Like I like the anthem. You know what I mean? Uh, like God, the God Outriders. God, yeah, I, the I'm God like, yeah, with the one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I can't wait for Outriders too. Um, I, what do you call it? I'm looking for Godfall. Looks more fun to me than uh, like I said, unless they add some more action to what you call it. Yeah. But Godfall didn't wow me, as far but, as um, graphically. It didn't wow me. I'll, I'll figure it out. Like, even, let's say, I'll, we'll go hyper. Let's say, okay, Sony has that 9.2 teraflop with RDD hybrid, whatever, right? Because we don't know, because they didn't say what it was going to be, right? And, um, but like, they, um, being that you, like you say, it's in a closed environment, they say they could pull more tricks and miracles with that. Not like 9.2 teraflops on the console is like overpowered, really, for a console, right? So, Maybe they could still achieve as far as like next gen type of visuals in a concept of nine point two teraflops, whatever, and so. And with that super fast SSD, they have to like offload certain other assets onto it, whatever, right? Mm -hmm. So maybe it could, you know. And plus the talent of the developer, like I said, you could have that power. It's gonna come down to the developer. You know, it's third party. It's gonna be whatever. Mm -hmm. Uh, but you know, just go ahead. No, I'm gonna pay the free bill. I'm sorry, it just popped up. Shout out my man. What is it? Master Shift Forty. You're the king of the North Z. Shout out, shout out. That message was sent on a free message in that. Shout out to you, good brother. I appreciate the kind words. Like I said, man. I mean, like I said, they ain't gonna need a whole lot of terror, right? Mm -hmm. For like to do the two Ks in the Madness, right? That, that it's still gonna look like great, right? Because you're not gonna have to waste a whole lot of resources on that. Your teraflops on the two Ks in the Madness, right? Okay. You know what I'm saying? Right, and uh, FIFA's and stuff. Okay, yeah. but um, uh, we don't, like I said, I, again, I, I, well, I'll say this, right? Uh, you yeah. know, those are static image sports games don't take that much. 
But I yeah. also gave you an example. I'm not saying it's true. You got 2K on the Switch, and you have 2K on the X. Which, which one looks yeah. better? They both can be running the same resolution, same frame rate. Because, again, yeah. resolution is not what gives but you like gravity. But like you said, Z, textures exactly and what you say. It comes down to the textures and the shading, right? Yeah. And um, even even with those not, this I'm saying, even with those not turn files, especially on a console, right? They'll be able to have those textures and stuff. I believe also, right? And stuff, you know, because like you said, like even even a PC, you're doing what's well, that about console though? But if we, if I look at it like okay, a non teraflop on a PC, and then like if the console is like a closed environment, we possibly could do more or whatever. How they going to do it, right? Optimizing it, whatever. Um, that would be enough to um, probably at least get to like um, you know certain games, right? No they can have certain games in um, high settings, maybe or medium, whatever. Cool. I, I, which is cool, but that's me going forward. Like yeah. I said, um, yeah. I'm going to. I should my shout out to my man Reggie. I did my man Reggie, Reggie, my dude. Hey Reggie, too. Um, I know your PlayStation do. Reggie on the tenth. When is the tenth? Tuesday. When oh. the tenth? Tenth is when. Yeah. Jason, no, that's next Tuesday. Yeah, okay, next I, I, Tuesday. I, I, I'm gonna send you thirty. Um, I know you said you didn't want a T-shirt, but I'm gonna send you thirty PS Plus points uh, for rocking out, supporting the show. I, I didn't forget you, brother. I'm gonna inbox it to you. A, a code. Now, one question. I know that you're in another country. Does it matter? Can I buy an American card and give it to you, or does it have to be um, or something like? I don't know. I know. Like, does it, does it matter? Or if not, I if you give me your PayPal or you got cash, I, however, I'll just send you thirty dollars. You can buy your own goddamn card. I, I didn't. You know, I had, that's the question. I don't know. Like you know, is it this is it, is it the same? Um, let me, let me see if we can answer that question. Before I get the hell up out of here. If we still in here, he said. Uh, Part Noah said, "Why park a distance twelve troops but defending T T flops but defending nine point two? Uh, well, I what, what do you say? Say it again. Um. I'm only. I'm not dissing nothing. I'm going by, you know, oh, 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 what we can't. already know. All right. So I'm saying, I, 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 I hold on one second. Nancy said no, he can't. Uh, okay, listen. So, um, okay, so you can't. So uh, do me, uh, do me a favor, then, uh, Reger, uh, be so kind. I don't know if you have PayPal or, or I don't know if they have Cash App. And I know you're in, you're in Europe. Uh, send me your paper. Uh, are oh, you from Sweden? Okay, okay. I guess that's Europe. Yeah. Um, Vedra, give me your PayPal, a link, your, your, your PayPal name, your email, or whatever you have, PayPal, i send you 30 US dollars, and then you can, um, buy your own point card, like, if, if that'll work for you. I know you said you didn't want a t-shirt, because you didn't, I, I told you it didn't matter if you was in Sweden, I'd still send you one, um, but, you know, whatever, you want to still want a t-shirt. You said I got some new styles down here at the bottom, you guys can check them out, but where me saying thank you? Hold on, my uncle 17, man, what's going on, baby? You know what I mean? That was bad, but overall, I liked it. Yeah, I mean, you listen, the sound, but uh, listen, Hollow Monk, I just needed more action. And that's why I'm excited to see what they do. They can add more uh, um, add, add more um, action to it, more fighting. You know what I mean? It was a lot of walking around. You know what I mean? You know, it was a lot of walking around, Hollow Monk. You know what I mean? And But it wasn't enough fighting. But um, I'm not going to lie. That, look, that shit looked pretty as hell, man. Like I said, you can have your press. I'm on both these motherfuckers. Check it out. This might be the last goddamn consoles we get. So I'm going I'm to enjoy both these motherfuckers until I got, you know what I mean? Xbox is still dog shit, but I ain't going to lie. That motherfucker sexy. So that motherfucker. Uh, here's the thing with the X. Because it's looking like the PlayStation 5 is going to look like the dev kit according to that leak. Uh, where the fuck would I put that at? Uh, Gotti, what's up, Gotti? I'm coming black. Yeah, it's black. It is black. But I wonder why, would I just stand it up here on my desk? I think I'll probably just stand it up and put it on the floor. I'll just stand, I'm going to stand it vertically. What? Tivo, what's up, baby? What? SD, which death kit are you talking about? Uh, PlayStation uh, Five. They're like that, like black and blue. Like I don't do any talking. No, no, about. no. Uh, the one they be like showing. The, huh? You talking about the V shaped one? Or? Yeah, the, yeah, 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 yeah. That's, that's the only one that's on the death kit I've seen. They, they I really don't care. Yeah, yeah but there was another. There was another one. Nah, no, like, no, I'm yeah. talking about when when uh somebody leaked something and they said the PlayStation One like we had it, it, on on the store thing storefront uh, okay. and they had the PlayStation Five and it was that U shaped console. Gotti, what's up, Gotti? My brother, Gotti. You know what I mean? I know, I know exactly what you're talking about. Yeah, so I... I, See, I you should stream some Assassin's Creed Odyssey sometime. The yeah. ground... It was, hey, Fonz, again, listen up. What I was saying, man, Um, when they tweet, a lot of people, they went over people's head. I wasn't reminding you guys to subscribe. I was just saying thank you um, for subscribing to me on Twitch. I surpassed 100 subscribers, and I'm on my way to... 
now to achieve, you know, that's a new thing. I'm doing this channel, this Twitch thing, uh, the 200 subscribers. That's what I was saying. Uh, you know, again, thank you. You know what I mean? It, it shit meant the world. I mean, that's all, good, big brother. Some people went over some people here. You know what I mean? Um, but yeah, um, but yeah, but so like I, as I was saying, yeah, uh, to my man, bitch, I see him in the chat. Uh, you know, I'm blind as hell. Uh, but before I go, uh, at our this last question, I'm gonna ask the chat. Let me give you guys a question before I get on. I'm about to get on Twitch. Uh, I gotta play a good friend of mine in 2K. Then I'm hopping on Final Fantasy. I'm gonna beat that boss. Then I'm going back to duty. All right, and I like, believe it, I like Final Fantasy. I like it. I like it. I didn't think I, I would like it at all. I, I like it. You know what I mean? Uh, but here's my question to the chat. Day one, uh, not day one, but what are your predictions as far as price wise for the PlayStation? And um, are you guys buying both? One at launch, one later. Like, what are you guys doing? Because I don't think nobody gonna have no big bangs at the start of the generation. Like you know, right now. You know yeah. what I mean? I know, I know some Microsoft is coming out with Halo. If you're into that, but that's cross gen. I want to see what it looks like on the X. Of course, you know what? I talk all that shit about Halo. This will be the first Halo that I really play online because I know nothing. I'm gonna be playing it. You know, I'm gonna play that bitch to get good at it. I might be coming to a pro. Like you know what I mean? Uh, hold on. Let's. I said, wait, we right here. You know what I mean? Wait, 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 I lost the chat. Let me go right here. You know what I mean? My man, Alki Breeze. Hold up. Hey, l listen to him. Dark Lord, Alki Breeze. Uh, shout out to you for subscribing to the channel. Um, could you inbox me on Twitter, brother, so I can give you a full link to the playlist for the, um, uh, the um, what do you call it, to the Patreon content. We got, I, got, I got exclusive expand your minds up there. You got all types of shit up there. You know what I mean? It's a, it's a whole playlist, but for you subscribing to the channel, I'm gonna give you, I'll give you the whole playlist. Inbox me on Twitter. Uh, give me your, right now, Alki Breeze. Type in your email address right here. Uh, type me, type in your email address right at the bottom. I know who you is. My phone trying to scam you. You said next gen for the PS5, 479, 450, 659 Canada. Hey, Tip, get your cheap ass out of here, Tip. We're too, hey, Tip, you ain't drop, you, you ain't drop your infamous $2 a day, the Tip, you cheap bastard. Yeah, there's no guarantee I'll play. Yeah, you know, 59, 69 next gen play games. You said, do I play games? Hey, somebody, get, hey, yo, somebody slap this joker in the head with the, with the joker be cool stick. Do next gen play <laughs> games. All I do is play games. Yeah. Hey, hey Gotti, cut that shit. You know you bought that tech. You're going to own both of them. Hey, Gotti, when we going to work too, man? You keep saying we're going to do this motherfucking um, this show together. They go to my Twitch right there. I play games all game. I want a a a a King said he wanted a King. What's up, King? And it turned King out. King said he went on that duty. Hey, listen too, man. Listen, I want to say one thing, some real shit, right before I get the hell up out of here, man. Um, I, again, like I said, I, I threw a lot of you guys. I didn't build up, but like I said, a, a person, you know, like you know, I know you guys. I met none of you motherfuckers in real life. I met some of you. You guys got my real number, and I ain't gonna lie, bro. A King, I'm gonna show you something right here. I'm gonna show you a tear jerky, right? Hold on, hold on one second. Let's see, I got something. Hold on. Instagram. I'm going to show you something right quick. You know, I put my flaws on Front Street, right? Check this shit out. You're not going to show your bolt in your foot again, are you? No, shut the fuck up. My business. You ain't doing this. <laughs> All right, look, look, look. Check this shit out. Wait, help me, let me go to the display capture, right? My brother King hit me, right? Niggas know when I go MIA, right? And I don't be online sometime for me. Because this shit therapeutic to me, man. Uh, and when niggas don't hear from me in a while, like, uh, it's like some shit didn't happen. Like, what the fuck me check on Z, right? Hold up. Wait till this page load. This shit funny as hell. Hold up. Oh, here we go. Oh, it's Assassin Creed Odyssey. Vicious, man. Oh, yeah, it's nice. Oh, yeah. Uh, I'm, wait, I'm waiting for this motherfucking page to load, man. Hold up. 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 I'm show you something. Hold up. Uh, 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 hold up. Hold up. This page capture. We got something. Here we go. Display capture. All right, back. Bring this up. My shit, my shit ain't gonna never load, right? Hold up, all right? Let's right, scroll up. Uh, wait, wait, hold on, hold on. Oh, fuck that. Look. This is your, wait, hold this your boy in high school right here. This is your boy. This is went to jail the second time. They said, they said I took someone's life, but I was found innocent in the court of law. I was found innocent in the goddamn court of law, right? That was in 2016. But I want to show you something. Hold up. Let me scroll, scroll through, right? Uh, wait, where that shit at? Uh, where we at? 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 Hopefully my shit will load. Hold on, this shit load that. Ask me, but this shit hold on. Let me show you something. Motherfucking page takes so goddamn long to load. What the fuck going on Instagram? They need a better Instagram app for PC, man. 
Target and the Instagram or AOL, man. Yeah, yeah, this motherfucker. Fuck it, buddy. I got another one here. Hey, yo. You can't fuck, you can't see this one good. When Florida's born, when King hit my phone, check this shit out, King. You probably remember this pic. When you hit my phone, like, I'm just checking on you, boy. We're taking you out. This was me asking as you was texting me or whatever the fuck. Oh, did you send me an email or did you text me? Either one. I got that shit. I was like, dang. That shit, like, I'm, I'm, I'm some, you know, whatever. I'll take the picture. Board is born, right? I'm still open. You can see the motherfucking, like, the, the, you know, you probably can't see any of this picture. But anyway, I'm still open and shit. I take a motherfucker. So this is where I'm at right now, bro. Boom. I, I took, like, a couple shots and shit. Like, I'm just like, you know, he's like, thanks. I know you don't believe in God, but Lord got you covered. <laughs> I say, King, this is where I'm at right now, fuck nigga, I'm laid the fuck up. I just got hit three times, fuck nigga, I'm laid up. I'm laid up, man. Like, I told motherfuckers, like, yo, shit, I've been shot five times in three years. They think I'll be tweaking. Like, it's a little like goddamn metal. Look at, that, look at that big ass hole right there. But I'm like, yeah, now, nah, King, I'm laid the fuck up, but I ain't gonna lie, though. Like, that shit put a smile on my face. Like, this nigga ain't been online in a minute. Like, my AP, Cooper, niggas be checking on me. They'll hit me for like, you know what I mean, for a while. Like, but nah, that shit. God, he all you guys, man. I fuck with y'all motherfuckers a long way. That's why, well, little, you know what I mean, I get back those no t-shirts and shit. I, you know, you know, it ain't about the money, you know what I mean? It is, you know what I mean? But I, I pay for them shits, and I, you know what I mean? Where am me saying thank you? Like, I bought my man, what, King of Jacket. UPS lost that motherfucker. Wait for him to give me my money or the bitch send him another one. But yeah, that's a way of me saying thank you. But like, like as soon as when that shit came through, and I was, on the, I was about to call my grandmother, right? Let her know I just made out of surgery and shit. I get stuff from Killer King. He's like, yo, man, you, you ain't been online about a week, man, or a couple days. Just, I'm just checking on what's that, man, bro, hold up, man. Presently, on the last, the, on the port of black of the day, nigga, I'm laid the fuck up. What the fuck is you talking about, man? <laughs> one, one of them motherfucking Xbox out there caught me slipping. One of them GRG niggas caught me slipping, man. But yeah, that shit, that shit put a smile on my face, though, man. Word it up, man. But listen, um... Before, uh, Moss, what's going on, brother Moss? What's going on, man? Hey, going man? On, I didn't know you was in here. Yeah, I, I did an interview with Crap. Crap, Crap had to, uh, you know, you got a part-time job at KFC, and she had to run back to work. <laughs> Fuck, nigga, you know what I mean? But I just was in here just shooting the breeze, talking to motherfuckers, you know, by myself, man. Um... Hey boss, when we gonna, when we gonna do the show? You be saying we gonna be doing, we gonna do, we gonna do. Gonna do it, we we can start this Saturday if you want, brother. Oh, you been so, saying that shit forever, man. So this Saturday, I know, I know. We'll be saying that for the next 15, 20 years. We're gonna be like Xbox, waiting for another triple A game and shit. Uh, yeah, hold on. I see my man, uh, Playboy Box. Hey, listen to man, y'all guys just follow Playboy Box. Hey, hey Playboy Box, drop the link to your uh, Instagram in, in, in the chat. You talking about a gaming setup? This nigga, hold up. This nigga gaming right. setup sees. This shit, I'm shit. I'm, I'm gonna. I'm oh, gonna is, is that is that homie with the white setup? With the yeah, all white? with the Star Wars. Oh, shit. Yeah, hey, yeah. Bro. He, he hey, also, bro, that's he, slick as hell, bro. And yo, so I, I think I inboxed me. I know if I sent you a playlist of the um, uh, uh, I sent you a playlist of the uh, of the um, uh, 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 Patreon shit. And I told you if I didn't, you know what I mean? It is. I did go to pass. I go to pass here. It passed my structure shit. SS9. Hey, hey, SS9, I'm gonna get you sent to uh the final month. I got some new designs. That's my uh, my brother two SS9 but I think I gave you my number two SS9. No, no, I texted to you, man. But anyway, shout out to all you guys that potentially show up for my shows, hit the like button. That shit again mean the world to me, man. You know what I mean? Uh, you know, at the end of the day, I ain't got the listen, I would say I ain't got the biggest channel where I don't get the most views. But I don't call motherfuckers fans, but I got a dedicated motherfucker, y'all niggas fuck with me like I fuck with y'all, that shit mean the world, like my chat crazy as hell, like y'all let y'all motherfuckers go up there and cut out, like sometimes, cause I barely go, I, I don't, like once I do a show that shit, let something funny happen, I try to get it, clip it, and I put it on the Instagram, like, just follow me on Instagram and all that shit too, I, my, my, my social media, you know, you know what I mean, and, you know, but whatever the fuck the case may be, y'all, I be reading them motherfucking comments, Hey, 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 Guru the Legend. Hey, listen, he says, does he sign that pony contract, though? Oh, listen, I'm trying. <laughs> that Jake Ant, listen, listen, listen. Look, hold up, nigga. You ain't see the picture? Check this shit out, right? Hold on, I'm going to share my goddamn screen again. Look at this shit. This shit crazy. I'm going to sign a goddamn pony contract. But that fuck nigga Kratos. Hold on, hold on. How, how you did your boy? Hold up. Hold up, 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 hold up. Let me show you something. Wait, hold on. Where we at? Where we at? Where we at? Where we at? Hold up. How this fuck nigga did me? Where we at? This piece of shit, bro. Uh, hold up, where, where I'm at, where we at, where we at, hold up, where that shit at, right here, hey, literally, again, let's check this shit out, this was the condition I was in, this nigga called me about 3 o'clock in the morning, I was hobbed at the lot of the, uh, and then that morphine offered me that pony contract, right, his motherfucker signed me for two used games, 
<laughs> and, and, and motherfucking three months of motherfucking <laughs> PS Plus, right? He nah. said, fuck nigga, you get shot a year, right? You know what I mean? And he fucking, you get shot a year, high blood, but you know what I mean? But then go out there and yeah. sound crap. He sound crap to undisclosed amount. You know what I mean? If niggas want me to go back pony, Chris, he gonna have to up the ante, man. Well, gonna else came to you with the contract at that time? Hey, but listen, I'm, listen, I don't, I don't, I don't born and proved and showed my worth. You know what I mean? I don't born and proved and showed my motherfucking worth. You know what I mean? If y'all want me to turn that nine point two ten flops, like only I can do at the twenty five T flops. He's a twenty five. I, I look, I need three games in a year of PS Plus, and we gonna go out that bitch again. <laughs> we gonna beat the shit out of these Xbox. We gonna beat these motherfuckers in here with the nigga be cool stick. You know what hey, I mean? I, I got a contract for you. What's the contract, brother? Some leather cowboy boots and some booty shorts. Oh, man. He up oh, on. He up on. He know we live on here. And a year of PS Plus. Hey, yo, they were saying Z need to show off your... My, my. I, look, I am. I said I was going to do a little game tour. I, I just got to put up some of these wires. I got wires everywhere, man. I'm going to cover some of these wires. And this is this is just a, a little corner behind me. Like, like before you guys, when I just had my camera regular, you used to be see what's on. I got like a lot of figurines. I just don't have a, a lot of room for a lot of that shit. Now, I have a finished basement when my daughter was staying here, uh, you know, before she went away to college. I let her have it, you know, have her own little space. And that was an issue was going to be in my game room. So basically what I did, I just closed off the dining room and just made it my own little, my little area and shit. But I got a couple arcade cabinets. I got a Mortal Kombat one, a bigger one, official one. I got a Street Fighter one. I don't. I don't have. I don't think I can have. I can. I can probably put another one in here, but I, um, my, in the basement where this hip and these motherfucking knees set up, I ain't gonna be going up and down no motherfucker. Even though I got a bathroom and shower and anything down there, they probably. I might die down that bitch. The family probably forget about me. You know what I mean? Cause I've been in this bitch here for hours. You know what I mean? But yeah. But what I'm gonna do is probably like next week. I promise. Like yeah, I'm gonna, for those if they keep asking me about it. But that's just right here. If you can see to the far right. But I got figurines on here. I got headsets on the wall. I got more figurines and boxes over here. You know what I mean? But that's why I think it's funny when they said, remember, you know, my folks teased me, well, you ain't have no fire. I'm like, what the fuck? Yeah, my, 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 like, uh, my, my cameras on all that shit I used to have behind me. Like, yeah, I don't see none of that shit no more. Like, I don't sell shit, none of that shit. Like, I'm a, that's just, motherfuckers is trippy, man. But I don't be doing that back and forth. They, they, they internet gangbanging shit. I don't be with that shit, man. <laughs> yeah, that motherfucker, man. Shit was crazy, though. He ain't had no fire. He just didn't want to show no people. Like, man, this motherfucker be tripping. Like, this motherfucker be tripping, man. He ain't had no electricity. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Hey, look, 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 uh, hey, yo, Turp get mad when I show this picture right here. This Turp. You know, nigga, the, yeah. PC, the PC nigga I be playing with, he get the mad. PC, yeah, PC yeah, yeah. Up. He get mad when I be using that picture and shit. But no, nah, yeah. But y'all can follow me on Instagram to go to link. <laughs> I, be, I put a lot of the highlights and shit the motherfucker on my, on my gram. Meet him about him. Where, where you, you going to strain that rematch for your fan? Oh, what, what, what's up? Where you matching who? Who, who, who want to smoke? But the, yeah. na the, nasty, the Buck Nasty team versus y'all. Say no more. Here go, here go the link right here. Man, all right. That's what, follow me on the gram, ho. We got some bills here. Coop, man, see, waiting on you. See, we waiting on you to resign like Brady. Hey, yo, hey, listen, I'm there, man. I, 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 I got booty. They go J-Dub Chinky ass in the chat right Chris G, what's up, my dude? I had to get you, Z. You was capping for Sony too hard. Say no more. I, oh, when he pulled up on me. I'm gonna get a PS5 first, but yeah, yeah. but nah, hey, shout out to my man Chris G too. Uh, first, you know, I mean, just rocking. Like I guess I'm gonna um make you a my. I'm gonna told you, I'm gonna um, send you uh some shit. I think you said from New York. So what's up, blood? What's up, gangsta? Yeah, Cradle's a piece of shit, man. He signed me to an all time. <laughs> caught me, at, caught me at my lowest. I was on the brink of death, man. You know what I mean? On the brink of death. That nigga offered me two U's game in the back of the dish that scratches on him. And see, why, <laughs> you ain't, why you ain't finished Yakuza 7? I couldn't. The bitch was scratched up in the back. That's why I ain't finished they tried, to, they tried to do my boy dirty last yeah. night, man. We, we wasn't having it, man. Hey, everybody gets Star Wars, too. Uh, me and Manhattan, we're going to do a... Uh... We're gonna do a watch along too when that shit come out. Oh, oh, listen! Before, last thing before I go, last thing before I go, I gotta say this. I'm I'm going on over to Twitch. Uh, for those of you that joined my channel here and subscribe to me on Twitch, like I said, you can do so. Support your boy on the way to 100 subscribers. Even if you have Amazon and you don't have a Twitch account, make it free. Uh, you go to your Prime setting, your Prime which says Prime. Let me show you. Like I just had to show Coop my hand though. So that's what I'm show you, right? Let because I'm not do it. I got Prime. That's so how you do it, right? You make your I get booty. You make you an Amazon account, right? <laughs> you make your Amazon you make your Amazon account right here. You make when you, you hit click prime, once you click prime, 
right? You scroll down, and it's going to say, "Explore my Prime Video." You got your Amazon Video and Twitch. They go Twitch right there, right? Boom, and you combine the two. Yeah, you make a Twitch, uh, uh, Amazon account. Or, I'm sorry, Twitch account. Your Twitch, Amazon owns Twitch. You combine the two, and you can even though you don't even rock out with Twitch, I can appreciate it. You can subscribe to my dog shit channel for free. And again, it means the world to me. You know what I mean? It uh, helps me on my journey to try to become a... Y'all tired of me getting strapped, stra right? Keep my black ass in the house. You know what I mean? I got a little goal I set for myself. 10,000 bits for the month. That's about $100 and 100 subscribers. Right now... Yeah. See, uh, yeah. see you, you see that shit? That's Twitch Studio? Yeah, that's yeah, I, got, I, I know. I, I downloaded it. I, I ain't fuck with it yet, though. I downloaded it. You know what I mean? Hold on. What is shit that again? Hold on. Where am I, 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 I going? I got to get that shit my damn self. So. Yeah. So, like, click up there. You sign it together. Boop. Bam, and then you we in there, and you can subscribe for free. They give you one. They give you one. Coop man. They, they got yeah. Coop man. Did you get Coop man with the two dollars? No, yeah. What he say? He said, "Fellas, I'm just hoping I'm hopping on Ori. This game is fire." Oh and yeah. We got Chris G. He said, "I got you, Z. I got Prime. That's what's up." Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, you go right there to Twitch, and um, I'm sorry, the Prime and combine it too. But listen, what I want to say is about you guys doing that, and for those of you that be rocking out, supporting the channel, in the chat, and all that shit, right? Um, we have a private Discord, right? My other Discord, toxic as hell. You coming at motherfucker too, though, right? The one we in right now, this shit here, a cesspool. But I got my own. Hold on, let me show you guys. I got our own, my own, not my own. We we ours, right? Everybody's an admin that motherfucker. We got right here, right? This one right here, and this is where we do the fights and shit at. So all the big fights, or you know, and I said that too. I wanted to do a show uh, with my, you know, like they came on last Saturday. We did. It actually turned into a show. I was talking to my brother uh, uh, King and Coop, man. And, uh, man, this is just for the subscribers and supporters. This we watch all the pay-per-view events at, uh, all the fights, maybe even some motherfucking, um, you know, nothing them a nerd. They want to do some um, Star Wars shit, whatever. You been to that shit there or any, any series and shit? We come in this shit, watch this shit together. We be having a ball. And, again, I get to, you know, hang out and bug out with you guys. So if you should join the channel and support, reach out to me. I will send you the link to the private Discord. Let me make sure I got some new people in here in service settings. And this is where we do all the fights at. So the, the, the Wilder joint, uh, the Mikey Garcia joint, we was all in here. Yeah, this is where we was at. I ain't got no new people in the joint. You know what I mean? This is where we be at. You know what I mean? And watching the fights and all that other shit. You know what I mean? Again, the way of me saying thank you for, you know, I pay for the fights. I get back, man. You got to support me. Uh, but, yeah, so you heard Moss said we're going to be doing the show. The show going to be on Twitch on Saturdays, Moss. Yes, sir. You want to start? Right. We can start on your channel first. Okay. All right. All right. But, and now listen. I, you know, I listen. There's a rule, right? How many subscribers would be on your channel? I, you know, I'm not doing no show with no four viewers, Mo. <laughs> look, 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 I got, I got, I got J, I got J Tech in, in Mad Cat's game. Right, let me see what's going. Let me see. No, I got a hundred. I got, I got. I think I got a hundred. I got a hundred people oh, following my channel. Right, let me see. What's your, what's your, what's your, what's your name? Moss. What? All right. All right. Mighty Moss two thousand. Mighty Moss two thousand. Look, Mighty Moss. Hey, if y'all want to see this show, y'all gonna have to go to my channel and support. Y'all ain't got money, subs just yet. Money Moss 2000. Now listen, <laughs> like when J Tech got me on that dog shit show, right? Oh yeah. <laughs> on, 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 the, on the PlayStation Legion, right? They get me that motherfucker. Oh. It was seven motherfuckers in there, right? Hell I said, yeah, bro. bro. I, I said, bro. I can't, bro. I, bro, bro, I can't. I, bro, who the fuck am I talking to myself? Oh, who the fuck? Who the fuck am I talking to myself? You know what I mean? Uh, uh, <laughs> but shit, uh yeah, but yeah. All right, let me see if I, yeah, I supported. I supported the show. With Money. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. That, yeah. Oh, you, should, you should support his show with money. All right, but fuck the young yeah, you're dead, motherfucker. You see I, I, I don't get, I don't get that. Motherfucker support my show with some money, dog shit, motherfucker. <laughs> uh, yeah, all right, my, all right, my man, all right, Mom. It don't. It, this nigga hiding his number. He bought. He hiding his numbers of followers he and shit. Not. All right, all right. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> I think I got like a hundred and fifteen. It's on, it's on the uh, Broadband Bullies website too. Okay, look, it said, look, share your sub anniversary in the chat, Mighty Moss. I am sharing my shit. I subscribed to your channel for five months. There you go. Another, another. I appreciate that. I appreciate that. Another, good, another, another, pay, another five for you, good brother. But anyway, yeah. Shout out to you guys that have been rocking out with me on Twitch. And again, I'm about to get down. Actually, I'm about to go on Twitch right now. Uh, I'll drop the link right now. I'm going to be there playing um, whatever. I'm going to finish I'm gonna finish uh, Final Fantasy. I like that game, Moss. I, I do it. In, for in, real? Yeah, I, I like got to get into it, bro. Yeah, I, yeah, I never, I never been into any fucking Final Fantasy games. Uh, actually, the final Fantasy fifteen was cool, um, uh -huh. but, but I, I said it should have been co op. But they do have a co op, a co op mode, but it's not in the main story because yeah. of the uh, what it, cause, right. cause it, because of the hardware limitations on the you know on the X and the Pro or whatever the fuck the yeah. case may be. They couldn't do it like that. But that's a beautiful game. 
Um, but this this uh, what do you call this goddamn game? Final Fantasy. That's not co-op either. I don't know why it ain't co-op, but it's dope. I like it. It's streamlined. Now I ain't got now. Too some of that big open world shit, bro. Be too much going on. I get lost and and my I, my thing is I don't mind leveling my character with side mission, but I get to doing mm -hmm. shit and I ain't progressing the story. I get mad as hell, man. <laughs> you know what I mean? But the list that's my like yeah. That's my Twitch right there. I'm about to go live right now. Uh, come over here and rock out. Uh, yeah. That, yeah, that's it. Crap and Z is like 2015, boy. Hey, Devin, you kind of late, brother. You you must have been at the after hour with drinking. Hell yeah. You know what I mean? Oh, uh, oh, you need the Discord link? I got you right now, brother. I'm uh, um I'm going to send you both, Chris G. So you can hop in here and bug the fuck out. I'll send you both right now on Twitch. Let me do that right now. But yeah, that's why I'm going live on t Twitch. Well, what the hell was in the background? Oh, oh my bad. That, that, that's that's oh, that. damn. Yeah, the daycare. Yeah, I don't know what the hell that was about, man. Hold on. That was boy. Assassin's Creed, though. That's Let me go here. Uh, uh, Chris, Chris, my G. Uh, okay, hold on. Good show. Nah, Z, you're checking out. Fuck the crap. He'll stop his legs and hold it. Hey, man. Be all right, man. I just noticed that my my uh, followers, they, they ain't showing my followers. So. Oh, uh, hold on one second. Let me send this shit to Chris G. Chris G. Chris G. Where you at, Chris? I know I just sent Chris some shit. Playboy. Wish I get. Uh, yeah, I gave it to him. Back out. Hold on one second. Chris G. Fine, fine. Lenny Graham sent. Uh, okay, I got a buck twenty-four. Oh, okay. Okay, all right, man. I might can do something with that. He's a, he's a, he might be. Like, yeah. uh, hold on, Chris G. Hey, Chris G. Do me. A, oh, I got him right here. Private Discord. Oh, I sent you the link to the private Discord already. Check your inbox. But I'm gonna send you the link now to the um. I send it. I send it to you again. Hold up. Click this one, Chris G. Listen. All right. And I'm also that right there. Now I'm gonna send you a link to the um. Uh, to the broadband bullies joint. Now listen. I'm like right now. This motherfucker here ain't nothing but a troll. Hey, hey, Buck. Do me a favor. Unban Street Jesus. Oh Call me. God. Uh, I did. Damn. Uh, you, you, oh, okay. Yeah. All right. Trust me. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's, it's a reason. Here, Moss, here, it's a reason here. to my madness. <laughs> Trust me. Yeah, with two Street Jesus uh, accounts, I haven't had both of them. Okay. Uh, 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 hold on one question. I'm going to drop this in the chat. Ladies and gentlemen, this is my main Discord. This is where we be at playing the games and shit. Hold on one second. Uh, oh. I'm going to chat right here. This is the main one we play the games and shit at. I send you both of them. I mean, and uh, let me put it here. Send this shit to my man. Yeah, all right. Back, boom. This is the one. I'm on now where I do shows the other other one is for fights. Bro, hold on, Ben. I hear some you, you mostly get that from me. I hear some ringing. Come on, Ben. You can see, see the it's show. Ringing? Yeah. Oh, uh, Bully. Chris G said, need them Discord links. Yeah, I just, I just, I just, I'm, I'm inboxing you now, Chris G. Bloody Reckless, right? I got you right now. Got you right now, Damo. Oh, that dinging you might be hearing might be from me. I uh, I just oh. resubscribe. I'm oh, to me? Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, I so, you. Oh, also, oh, so, 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 what's up? All right. That's how you doing yours, huh? <laughs> All right. Say no more. Say no more. Say no more. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, I'm going live on Twitch right now. Come over and rock out with me. Uh, we're going to be bugging the fuck out, having fun. It says six, six time felon. <laughs> <laughs> uh, come rock out with me. Bug the fuck out. We're going to be... Um, Finishing up that Final Fantasy demo. You got to download it and play it, Moss. It ain't bad, yeah, Moss, man. You need to get on some games with this. Yeah, you might not. Hey, y'all be playing that, that multiplayer shit, man. When that Division come out, man, it's coming out. They it's going to be cross-platform. He said, don't listen. I, I gave, listen, I gave, uh, un, uh, what's the man, Street Jesus the rule. I told him no racist shit. No no homophobic, you know, that shit oh, there. That ain't uh, last. I, okay, don't worry about it. But it's, trust me, there's a reason, reason to my madness. Uh, yeah, okay. All right, but anyway, that, I'm going live on Twitch right now. Shout out to Twins with the E's. Shout out everybody that rocked out live. What's tomorrow? Wednesday. I don't think I'm doing anything Wednesday, but listen, the multiplayer pod. Rafe, what's up, my motherfucking brother? Hey, oh, uh, will you? I, uh, okay, Rafe, inbox me or um, inbox me right now on, on Twitch, bro. Hold on, let me get the shit to Rafe. I'm sorry, Rafe. I've been talking about this shit forever, man. Hold on, let me get the shit to right now, that Rafe. Inbox me on Twitter, on Twitch, on Twitter right now, Rafe. Uh, invite people, copy, 
Hold on. Rafe the info. I got you right now. Rafe, uh, Rafe the Emperor. Inbox. I need you to inbox. Hold on. I'm sorry, ladies and gentlemen. God damn it. Rafe, Rafe. Where you at, Rafe? I need you to inbox me. I'm doing I'm going to see. Rafe, we go. Let me be pro productive here. R A. Let me go. Rafe the Emperor. I got you right now. Rafe, next. All right, here we go. Bam. Bam. All right, this is the private joint right here. That's where we do the fight set and shit. Join, I give you a rule, all right? And that's where we had a fight. So I don't know when the next big fight is. When is this next big fight? I don't even know. Oh, I, 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 yeah, I know. The last fight wasn't that big, but it was still a good fight, though. Oh, with the Mikey Garcia, I know it is. I, um, yeah, yeah. I woke up late. I know it was. I'm a big fight fan, but Mikey was getting Mikey Garcia was getting his ass with it first. That was a move. That might have been. What's it, what year is this? 2020? Right, okay. That might have been the fight of 2020. So what? That motherfucker, they was fighting the phone booth, bro. That's, they was, <laughs> they, that was a fight in the phone booth right there. That Mikey Garcia joint. Uh, But we, we want to show it. But listen, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going on Twitch right now. All right, bet. We out of here. Uh, March, fuck. Uh, UFC, bliss. Ed, what up, Ed? Ed, it's my dude, Ed. I, I, I see you in the link, too. I had to watch with me, Ed. That's my brother, Ed. Ed, no Ed from the streets. Uh, um... I don't know much about UFC though. Uh, so I, when I do do those shits, man, uh, it, that's it's just for, yeah, yeah. That's I, bro. I don't. Be, I like knockouts. I ain't with all that wrestling. I like when they be straight be knockout. Plus, I don't like arms and shit. Like, I, man, you know, I am with begin. Like, I like when they straight knockouts, man. Yeah, uh, well, it's not, I it's not like o'clock. Yeah, you know I what I mean. Like that shit, but yeah, but yeah. listen, I'm going live on Twitch right now. Come on over, finish the conversation. How much will it be the PS5 be? How much will the motherfucking um? How much are you willing to pay? Most you said you're not getting an Xbox, right? No, I ain't getting an Xbox. Hell no. You getting a PS5 or are you gonna stay with your PC? Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna get a uh, PS5, but I don't know if I'm gonna get it at launch because I, I that them, them launch consoles be faulty. I usually wait a month or two. I right, hold on. First of all, hold shout out, shout out to Christine, Christina Bennett, uh, the beautiful fam. Christina Bennett, do me a favor. Do you have um? I, I didn't want to be rude or disrespectful, but, you know, starting no shit between your husband. I also put some shit in your DM on, 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 on what do you call it, on, on Instagram. Uh, but I, I, w I wanted to send you the, the link. I wanted to send you the link uh, to the private Discord because you, you do be supporting. Um, you know, we, I don't know if you, your husband, whoever's in the fights and stuff. And I wanted to send you a T-shirt, whether for you or him. So if, if you're on Twitter or if you're on Twitter... Uh, actually, um, if you're on Twitter or whatever, or just inbox me your address or whatever on, in the size on, on Instagram, and I send you a, a t-shirt and stuff out on the 10th. You know what I mean? Who this nigga in your motherfucking DMs? <laughs> with the duck lips. Tell me some shit. bitch, who this nigga in your DMs with the duck lips? <laughs> oh, you like niggas with dreads now, huh? Huh? Yeah, you like niggas with dreads? Yeah, I don't want yeah. no problems, man. I stand some yeah. shit, so I was waiting to catch you in the chat you had left. So I'm just let you know on hand. Let him know. You know I see him in the front of your picture. I want I want no smoke. You know my God, fair man. I said thou shalt not cover one man's. What's what? What, what, what take your man go? Thou shalt not cover one's wife. I don't want no problem. Mm -hmm. But I was I was trying to you know I don't know if you're on uh what do you call it Twitter. Uh, you can mm -hmm. inbox me on Twitter. If you guys not follow me on Twitter, uh, please, most of you guys are follow me on Twitter. Here's my Twitter. Like, how many Twitters you got? I keep this is my last. I ain't getting banned no more. This is my last Twitter. If you ain't got Twitter, this is my Twitter right here. Bam. Uh, but you follow me on, on Instagram. If you don't, just inbox me the size, uh, your address and stuff. And then I'll send it out to you on the 10th. And where me saying thank you uh, for supporting the channel. I'm a, I'm a true gentleman. I ain't want no smoke. Bitch, who's this nigga with your DM? What size is you? Huh, you got a shirt? Man, I can see me now. This shit been in back for my old lady. Been in oh, look, you back at your shit again. You and somebody DMs. Tell me what side. What side is her bust? Like, no, nah, I'm trying to bust. She's trying to get a T-shirt. <laughs> and look, I stand some shit, man. Like, uh, uh, bro, I don't want no problem. I don't want no smoke, man. I don't want no problems. But anyway, I also sent you the link. Z just going to give you a shirt simple. But now listen, man, you know, I ain't going to lie. I mean, hey, motherfucker, pick up my lady for somebody. Like, yeah, baby. Uh, no, yeah. Uh, What size you wear? I'm like, what the fuck? What the fuck this bitch? Bitch, yeah. Hell yeah. What the fuck is this? What size you wear? <laughs> My size, motherfucker. You know what I mean? So, you know, this nigga, hey, been niggas be weird with it, but I don't want no smoke. And I mean, listen, I just got shot. I don't want no more smoke, man. I can't take another one. He's done. He's done. He, he, I, he, I can't he, take another one. But listen, I'm getting about Did you cook? Hey, yo, did I cook? Yeah, hey, yeah, I cook. Look, oh, look, ladies and gentlemen, I cooked my first steak yesterday. I've never cooked a meal a day in my life. 
My man Ed robbed the meat, robbed the meat truck or some shit, right? Gave me a bag of steaks, right? How he got him, I don't know. <laughs> Pulled through his house. My man gave me a bag of steaks, right? So uh, I, I, I cook my. I, I don't know how to cook, right? I'm telling my grandmother, I ain't never like, bro. I don't know how to wash clothes. I'm, I'm, I'm a lousy. I'm a lousy husband, man. I don't know how to put shit together. But what I could do, I could shoot a nigga. I could fight. And, <laughs> and if you got anything wrong with your computers or fixing cable, I'm your thing. But any far as putting toys together, it's top top tier uh, towers, anything man. fixing anything in the house. Washing some dishes, washing some clothes. I am shit. I'm a lousy mate. I don't know how to mow no gr- Listen, my lady went down. She was supposed right. to make. Okay. You don't see the lawn outside? You don't see need to, need to be grown? Hey, bitch, I grew up with concrete. Like, I don't know if it's good grass between weed or, 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 or poison. I ain't my father. Yeah, bitch, I grew up yeah. in the projects. I don't know about this shit, right? You know what I mean? And when she calls so fussing me out about the lawn, you don't see the neighbor's lawn? Here's a little bit more green. Hey, yo, I don't know shit about no motherfucking. <laughs> No good grass between weeds and uh, fucking vines. Vines. You gotta get the vines and crack the foundation in the house. I don't know about that shit. Go for the projects. You know what I mean? What the fuck is you talking about? Hey, welcome to that life, man. Hey, yo, but I made my first steak yesterday. She told me made it, but yeah, but you know what I mean? Put it in the pot. I put it in the, pot. I put it in the oven. It put the salt in it and let it cook for 45 minutes. Yeah, I did my, I cooked my first meal. Yeah, I should have fucking put that shit on YouTube. But anyway, yeah, I'm going over to Twitch right now. Fuck all y'all. Y'all ain't so, man. I'm going to go to the link right now. And again, if you got Amazon Prime, you can subscribe for free. We out of here. And by doing that, listen, you get to come watch, hang out with me. In the private Discord. You know what I mean? If you love me, tell me you love me. Don't stare at me, man. I hate to be in jail for slapping one of my fans. My.